Tyler Connell thinks so. <sighs> Earth to Connell. The game's over here. She inspires me, Beecham. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you actually did it. No, see, it's a fake status, but you keep, like, sticking it on a different body part. They think you're getting pierced all over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drives parents insane. <laughs> Blue lady! Blue lady! Later, Beecham. Fight, Nesbitt! I gotta go. Equipment fell on him, that's all we know. Expect blood trauma, crush injuries, and heavy bleeding. Hello, I have done this before. My name is Hank Beecham. This is Valen Tyler. We're here to help you. Torn femoral artery. I'm putting on pressure. BP's 80 over 50, heart 120. What is this? Sir, try to stay calm. We're gonna take good care of you. Who are you? Emergency medical services. I'm giving you something for the pain. You're 12 years old. I need a real doctor. I'm gonna die. Sir, we'll get you to one as soon as we stabilize. <laughs> Oh. Get away from me! Somebody call the paramedics! Sir, we are trained to do this. If we don't treat you now, you'll bleed to death. It's that simple. Respiration 30, heart rate coming down. Just chill. You're going to be okay. and he kept thrashing around, pulling out the IV. But you talked him down. Yeah, about 12 times. Guys, come on, I mean, his leg was like ground beef. He knew he was looking at amputation and he was flipping out. Well, so he had to tell me how much he hates black people? Yeah, and that was definitely uncalled for and totally unacceptable behavior. But you did not let it affect the quality of treatment. No, it didn't affect the quality of treatment. But maybe they should amputate his tiny brain while they're at it. Hey, come on, man. Chill out. I mean, we've had guys like this before. Yeah, right. That's all I'm gonna say. I better go. Moving on. <laughs> Any other problems? No, no, Val was great on top of everything the whole time. Tyler was the one who kept the guy on the gurney. Very key. Mm, the hospital part went fine. Just another day at the office. Oh, yeah, just, uh, just another day. Am I butting in? The boss? I'm butting in? No, no, no. See, we are yours to command, Master. OK, OK, I'll make this fast. Tomorrow's a big day, rookie orientation at 3. You're all going to want to be there, of course. Of course. Don't be late, because I might be, and not because I want to be. OK. So the rumor is Alex is meeting with the mayor to try to head off the whole thing. What whole thing? Kids on probation doing community service on the squad. Hey, kiddo, that was great. It's getting there. Yeah, so why'd you stop? Starvation. Truck. Finger exercise. Great, then how about setting the table? Dad! It's not even seven. I don't believe it. Hey, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Right. Hey. Meeting finished early. Got room for one more? Mm hmm Your timing is perfect. 
With all due respect, Ms. Mayor, this is a huge mistake. Alex, you know there's a funding crisis. Kids sentenced to community service don't belong in the squad. How do you know? You've never had one before. Never had heroin before either, but I know it's bad for you. Come on, Michelle, the city council is jeopardizing this whole program just to get some state money. Look, there's someone else having lunch with us. I wanted to introduce you to her. You're fixing me up. <laughs> the council voted to hire her as your assistant director and possible replacement. Replacement? Your contract comes up soon, Alex. They wanted some insurance. Gee, I can't wait to meet her. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, Mayor Rivera. <laughs> Dr. Alex Freeman, Dr. Jennifer Perino. Hi. I may look like the boss, but I'm not. The squad runs the squad. For 30 years, high school EMS squads have worked all over the country from Connecticut to California. You have all done enough hours of basic life support to be certified EMTs by the end of training. From now on, you're on call just like the regular members of your shift. You'll learn dispatch, do ride-alongs, and support work. Until you are certified, you never touch a patient. And once you're an EMT, like me... You train a few hundred more hours to make it to EMT intermediate, like me. Then you get to make decisions. Until then, you clean up, you change non-sterile water, and you empty the garbage. And trust me, there's always garbage. This is Rook, our volunteer. After school, she comes in and whips our office into shape. She's the queen of the paperwork, and if you get behind, trust me, it's off with your head. Dispatch is our nurse. It's a preschool or what? If you make the squad, that'll be your first job. Dispatch checks all radios. For How'd you get here? I liberated some guitar picks from a music store. How about you? Hyperparent. <laughs> you want me to be a doctor? I'd rather play one on TV. <laughs> hey! This is not the mall. The first thing that you learn here is to pay attention. If you don't, someone could wind up dead. <gasps> Safety is the name of the game. You have to pass two extra tests to be one of our drivers. I'll be right back. Girlfriend? If she is, he's a lucky man. Look at his face. I don't think that's love. I'm actually here to orientate myself to the students. Excuse me. Now listen. Hi, guys. I'm Jennifer Perino, the new assistant director. I thought we should get to know each other. This could be interesting. I mean, she definitely gets to Alex. You could almost see the steam coming out of his ears. Hello? Am I talking to myself here? I'll catch up with you, Brooke, OK? I like I'm going to say no. Well, bye. Yeah, bye. Tyler Connell? <laughs> what a dork. Hey, he's, he's not a dork. He's, he's incredibly cool. <laughs> sure, if you like um, overachieving, disgustingly athletic rich kids. Oh, Tyler can't help it if his parents have money. I can't believe I've known him for two years and it took me this long to figure out how hot he is. <laughs> no, that guy is beige, okay? He's boring. Like, I, I can't believe you're going out with him. Oh, you don't like anyone unless their nose is pierced. <laughs> and besides, we, we are not going out. We're just very... Very interested. It's, it's like you and cheerleading. Like, who can understand it? Katie, do you ever exercise? What for? Death happens anyway. But, but OK, um, back to you and Tyler. So why hasn't he asked you out yet? Because it's, it's very complicated. I mean, besides school and sports and cheerleading, we also have this little EMS volunteer thing. It, time out. <laughs> um, about what does the, the sacred EMS squad have to do with your love life? We work together. We have to be professional. We, we spend nights together on, on duty. So? So, you really, you don't see the problem here? Oh, no, no, I see the problem. It's the, the squad rules, right? You guys have to be good little heroes and do everything right and never, ever give in to your feelings. <laughs> When are you going to wake up, Lanier? It's just, it's sick. You wouldn't have a clue what being on the squad means. You're too busy wasting your time looking weird and trying to be different. Right. 
I'm not one of you gods. Huh? No. Just a mere mortal who happens to think for herself. How can you even be seen with me? Katie. Katie, I'm sorry. Still upset about your friend Katie, right? I just, I hate it when we fight. She's just, she's gotten so, so out there, you know? But we've been best friends since we were born, since before we were born. Our moms did Lamaze together. You know, you guys seem like way different people. And maybe you've outgrown each other, it happens. I mean, who knows why, why people click with each other if they do that they just do. So, you're pretty smart for a football player. Yeah, you better hope so. You know, if you still need help with algebra. Quadratic equations are a total mystery. I mean, if the point is to get to zero equals zero, why bother? <laughs> because when you get it, it's like scoring a touchdown. All right, try this one, it's, it's easy. X plus two Y minus three. Um, these two uh, will cancel each other out. And, um... Hank, let's go! We got a pulse here. Hi, my name is Val. I'm with Kingsport EMS. You're gonna be okay. Hank, possible spinal injury. We're gonna need a backboard. What are you doing? I'm doing homework. Remember we talked about me looking over case locks? Those aren't allowed out of the building. Oh. <laughs> Never mentioned that. MBA. Two dead, three critical. Dump the trash, we'll help the rest later. Call critique, rec room, ten minutes. Call critique? How do you know? This group discussion to release stress. I'm surprised, Dr. Perry. No, I thought you were cutting edge. Jennifer. And I am familiar with call critiques, Alex. I actually taught a course on them. I was just gonna ask you how you run one. I don't. The crew chief does. That rotates among senior squad members. Critiques are crew only. Happens. Two, you're breaking a rule. Break another one and you're gone. Clear? He couldn't be more than five. 
know, they're doing amazing things with spinal cases. He might be okay. Even if he is, who's gonna take care of him? His dad's a single parent. He's in intensive care. He might not even make it. That's what social workers are for. They were honored as soon as we left the hospital. Will they be there when he wakes up? If he wakes up? He's gotta have relatives, they'll find him. What if they don't? It's not our job, Val. And there's a big fat rule against getting involved. Well, right now I hate it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too, but we need it. If we tore ourselves up over every case, we'd be burnt out in a month. That reminds me, what happened to you out there? When? With the backboard. Oh, no big thing. I was all in the short on sleep. I just checked out for a second. Won't happen again. Hey, you sure you're okay? I mean, we can put you on the disabled list. I'm fine. No problem. How about you? That was a major first call. What'd you think? Cool. Just like ER. Are we still going shopping on Saturday? I think I'm busy. Come on, Katie. Don't. Don't what? Don't sulk for days and treat me like I have rabies. You can be such a drama queen. <laughs> Let's see. I'm a freak. I'm a drama queen. Anything else you want to trash about me? I don't want to trash you. I'm trying to make up. We're blood sisters, right? <laughs> Look, we were six. Okay, we were too scared to use real blood. We did it with Kool-Aid. I think that makes the friendship null and void. You're, you're not serious, right? Hey, it's been tons of fun. Okay, but we live on two different planets. At least now you won't have to explain me to your Barbie friends anymore. So it's over, just like that. Oh, oh, Jamie, Jamie, hold on. There's, uh, there's a cone missing. We carry four traffic cones. You only checked out three. Where's the other one? Beats me. Well, you better find it. How? It was chaos last night. It could be anywhere. Hey, listen. Find it, pay for one, it's your choice. Just get one ASAP. Pay for it? That's so lame! Hey! You are responsible for all equipment. You lose it, you replace it, period. I didn't lose it, it disappeared. Who cares about some dumb orange cone? It's a joke, man. You know what? You are not gonna be laughing if you get hit by a drunk driver. There are reasons for those dumb cones. Listen. Why don't you drop the attitude? You mess up here and you're gone. That lands you back in court. So? So, you, you did okay last night. I mean, you might be good at this one day. Blowing it seems like a waste. And then there were two. Where's mom? Investment club. And dad's working late. What a surprise. Dinner's in the fridge. Mom left a turkey loaf. Microwave at your own risk. I think they're fighting again. How do you know? She had that voice when she left. Tell your father about dinner. Anybody home? Hey, how was your day? Good. You look tired. Oh, Attila the client. We show nine different ways to sell his stupid toilet paper. And he flushed all of them. <laughs> you should have been with me. I'd have kept my sense of humor. I'm starving. Who wants barbecue? Oh, gross. Babe on a bun. And, uh, Mom left a turkey, though. Yuck. Dad, that has a lot of cholesterol. I know, I know, but you gotta blow it out once in a while, right? 
Oh, by the way, how's the new boyfriend? He's not a boyfriend. Not yet. <laughs> hey, I told Brooke to tell you there was turkey loaf. Don't blame Brooke. I hate turkey loaf. I wanted barbecue. So, Mom, how is the investment club? Well, the market's up. If you have money, you can make a fortune. Give it a break, Joanna. I'm doing the best I can. There's nothing wrong with my turkey loaf. I knew that turkey loaf was trouble. My dad loves us a lot, but he works really, really hard, tons of nights and weekends. And he tries to be there for, for mom and Brooke and me, but it's not, it's not always so easy. Yeah, yeah, tell me about it. Hmm. My dad lives 300 miles away, hmm. you know? And my stepfather is no picnic, trust me. That must be horrible. Yeah. You know, sometimes. My dad wasn't around much even before the divorce. He's a... He's a lawyer. You know, what can you do? Mine's in advertising, but um, he's trying to start up his own agency, and it's not making any money, so my mom is getting pretty frustrated. Do they fight a lot? Not a lot, but... You know what, don't. Don't jump to the worst. I mean, not everybody gets divorced. Maybe they'll work it out. <laughs> I can't believe I just told you my life story. <laughs> You're really easy to talk to. <laughs> It was a car accident. The name's Revere, father and son. The kid's about five. They're both critical. You're a relative? I'm uh, close to the family. How close? He's, 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 his dad's my uh, brother. What's the first name? Hank. Oh, you mean they're... The little boys or uh, the fathers? Uh, jeez. I'm not, I'm not sure. Amazing. And you, so close to the family. Look, let me be straight with you. That would be a nice change. I uh, have to go now. Hank, what are you doing here? It was the way you looked at me. You know, I, I disavow for losing perspective, and then I'm the one who can't stop thinking about him. It's one little kid. You know, I could always keep a lid on it before. What's going on with me? Hey, give yourself a break. You care. That's that's natural. It's a natural, healthy impulse. Listen, I'd be worried if you didn't. Oh, well, it was unprofessional. I tried to follow up. I broke the rule. OK, technically, yeah, you did. But look at the bright side. There's no one around to report you. You are sure not like Alex. Thank you. Listen, I gotta get going, but uh, just know I'm always around if you need to talk, okay? Cool. <laughs> Man, what's the problem? <laughs> Ma'am, I can't resuscitate a dog. Oh, I know he's not gone. I know it's... <laughs> you hurt. I you choo-choo. One of these days, boys, could help you with the more to do. <laughs> could you? Ma'am, I'm sorry. We are not supposed to treat animals. <laughs> Move over, ma'am. <gasps> Jamie. 
If we don't get a call, walk it in hurt. <laughs> oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You never bought the cone, you blew it off. I bought the stupid cone. It cost me 15 bucks. I'm telling you the truth. You're bouncing him on a traffic cone? They let him skate once, he was warned. OK, but he claims he replaced it. We don't know that he didn't, Alex. It wasn't there. He's responsible. End of story. Yeah, your story. What about the truth? Who do you think you are? You have been here 10 seconds, and you are dictating how this squad should be run. Because you're wrong, Alex. I am not going to let you write this kid off, because you got a little problem with the way he got here. Jamie needs this a lot more than your A-list superstars. This is like gravy for these kids, but for someone like Jamie, this could be his last chance. You are completely obnoxious. Ugh. Yeah, I, I know I'm obnoxious, and, I and I'm pushy, and I don't know my place. Are you going to give this kid another chance or not? All right. If only to prove you wrong. Works for me. Hello, world. This is me. Let's hey, I thought you were supposed to be catching up on sleep. When? Like a 24 hours in a day and 50 things to do. So arrange your life better, man. <sighs> Who's got a life? All I have is the schedule. <laughs> How come the coffee only tastes good when Brooke makes it? Because she is good at everything, just like her sister. Right. I'm so good at math that Mr. Cohen almost pulled his hair out trying to teach me algorithms. And he doesn't have the hair to spare. Hey, you know, <laughs> save the whales? You guys can start a movement, too. Spare the hair. Right. What? <laughs> Spare the no, hair. It's no, that's the, terrible. The, the that's terrible. <laughs> the okay, we are supposed to be concentrating that's here. That's right. We're supposed to be uh, <clears throat> overachieving. Uh, Spare the hair. It was kind of funny, though. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Good man. Overachieve some more. <laughs> Back off! Yeah, he just fell over. Oh. Oh. DP 230 over 199, pulse is 140, respiration 28. Easy, Daddy. Just try to stay calm. <laughs> he had this really funny idea for the ad campaign, and, and we were both laughing, and then he, he just. <laughs> Starting with me, give me the panels. 50. 50. Clear. Down. Clear.
Mrs. Lanier? Yes. Dr. Pierce, the attack was pretty severe. There may be some damage to the heart muscle itself. We'll have to run some tests to find out. For now, I want to concentrate on keeping him stable to prevent any further damage or complications. So it's not over. He could still... Not if we can help it. Hey, any word on Val's dad? No, no, not yet. I'm doing the study on pediatric ICUs. Actually, I go to two of counties today. I met this great little guy, really together for a five-year-old, Sam Revere. He has spinal injuries from a car wreck, but uh, he's lucky, though, I'll tell you. None of the vertebrae were broken. They don't even expect paralysis. A little bit of physical therapy. Him and his dad are going to be OK. Thanks for telling me. What? I'm just, I'm just making conversation. I love you so much. <laughs> hey! Hey! You want to get a hot dog? Because I've... I've... Pull in! That's my cone! What if mom makes us go home? Dad still looks awful. Brooke, he's going to be OK. And he would not want us to worry, right? Excuse me. Val. I heard at school I had to sell my soul for a ride over. Um, how's he doing? Better. Good. It's really good. No, I told you Val needs me. I can't come home right now. No, you know what? Don't put William on the phone. Because he's not going to change my mind. Mom, I'm not coming home. Hey. Kayla and Shorty, let's hit the vending machines. Only if you're buying. Of course. <laughs> Val, Katie, son a drink? No, thanks. Uh, Dad said it was a corporate plot. Dr. Robert I never meant we shouldn't, like, talk to each other. Look, you're the only other person I know who thinks ketchup's gross, OK? <laughs> you have to be in my life. I'm sorry for what I said. Me too. So should we like hug or something? <laughs> <sighs> so what if your friends think I'm terminally weird? I am. You are not. <laughs> I want to bet. Check this out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ah. uh, Katie! <laughs> <laughs> Val, 
This is Mo. And I've got, oh, and I've got Larry and Curly too. But, but they're back in my house right now. They're sleeping. They, 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 they don't talk too much, but they listen real good. Uh, look, Danny. Mo's got a job. He's one of our guys. He directs traffic. He keeps us safe. We need him. He'd love to hang out with you, but he can't. Yeah, and neither can Larry or Kirby. All right, Bill, I'll have to go back to where they came from. We're sorry, man. We really are. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a lot of other friends. Let him have it. I'll pay for another one. But no, you won't. Alex will have a meltdown and throw you out. Look at him. There's got to be something we can do. Sorry. Undress the cone and put it back on the truck. Words I never thought I'd say. Please state the nature of your emergency. Okay, sir, can you tell if anyone is hurt? Alex. Can you tell me where the accident occurred? Hey, how's your dad? Thank you. I'll notify the police immediately. He sat up and he ate some jello. One day at a time, you know? Yeah, I know. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. We can we can talk if you want. We could we could talk. They think that my dad's heart muscle might be damaged. Um, he might even need a transplant. Alex, I really don't know what's gonna happen. Everything's so weird. My mom is a total basket case. Um. Well, I, I'm, I think I might have to give up the squad. Do you want to give up the squad? No. I've put so much into this, and I still want to go to med school. Well, then don't jump the gun. We'll, we'll put you on the DL for a week. And if things are still weird, then we'll see if we can work something out. Okay, I thought, I thought that nobody got special treatment. Nobody does. Unless it's best for the squad. Man, you were just waiting for me to crash and burn. You don't think I can do this? It's nothing personal. Well, I can. And I'm going to prove it. Just to tick you off. Alcone's present and accounted for, sir. <laughs> Mom, I know. Lock the door, set the alarm, leave the leg on. Don't worry about us, OK? I love you, too. And Dad. Hmm, bye. What is that? Nothing. Come on, Brooke. It's my laptop. It's a digital get well card. For Dad. With all the stuff we're gonna do when he gets better. He can still take us to Yosemite, right? His heart's okay for that, like, in a medical way? Um, well, they don't know yet. But, but Dad's a fighter, and they're doing everything they can. You swear as a future doctor? I swear. Hi. Ugh, not again. I hadn't seen you that much this week. Scrabble, anyone? I thought I'd come by, see how you're doing. Great. I mean, I mean, I'm... 
It's great that you came to see me. <laughs> Good idea, Brooke. Why don't you get the board? <laughs> what is this? Well, I brought you something. <laughs> You're probably gonna think it's the ugliest thing you've ever seen, but... Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. But, um, you know, he's a leprechaun. Good luck charm. My dad gave it to me when I was six, because I had my tonsils out. Thought maybe you could give it to your dad. That's really, really nice of you. So, uh, you're doing okay? Yeah, I am. Now. Tarantulas? Yep. Hundreds of them. Yeah. Maybe we should wait for pest control to get here before we go in. Man, I don't like spiders. You gotta step here. Watch out. Over here. This place is a jungle. Let's get her off the floor. Hello, ma'am. I'm Tyler with Emergency Medical Services. Down. We're gonna take good care of you. Stand by with the O2. Hey, grab her feet. On three. One, two, three. Check her vitals. She's having trouble breathing and she's swelling up. Anaphylactic shock. Let's get some epi into her before throat closes. I'll get it. Give her the shot, Tyler. You got the upgrade. No, uh, you go ahead. I'll get the heart monitor. Whoa! What? Spider! Gonna be all right, Mrs. Langdon. They were everywhere. Where did they come from? Cactus exploded. They all started coming out. Where? Where are the rest of them? Let's get her out of here before we get a chance to find out.
like ready to go to your sleepover? Are you kidding me? I've been ready for like over an hour. So you got everything you need to fresh teddy bear? Val, you have my patron number, right? You've only given it to me a million times. Mm -hmm. All right, then let's go. Oh, my. What's wrong? Was it a spider? No, just, just, just a fluff. Did you say spider? The woman we just treated had an allergic reaction to a spider bite. I hate spiders, but it was just a little spider and Hank killed it. It wasn't just a little spider. It was a baby tarantula. Do you know how big those suckers get? Like the size of your hand. And there are hundreds of them out there. Hank, would you please... What do you mean, out there? They escaped from Miss Layman's house up on Browning Road. Who knows where they are now? How can I convince you that you're really not alone? And I know exactly what you're... That looks so cool, Barb. Your mom is like so totally gonna freak when she sees you got a tattoo. Yeah, it's just a Hannah Michelle. It only lasts for a couple of weeks. Done. Hang on, I'll be right back. Amy, you're so lucky your mom works nights. Yeah, your sister is pretty cool to hang out with. I wonder if she can do a rainbow. I want something that'll give my mom a migraine. Yeah, like a snake. A snake wrapped around a dagger. Ew. Amy. Amy. That was Karen. Her car got stolen. She's stranded at the mall and some creepy guys are staring at her. I gotta go wait with her for the police. I'm gonna get Mrs. Binner to come and sit with you guys. Barb, come on. We're 12 years old. We don't need a babysitter. How long are you gonna be gone? Like an hour? Mom will kill me if I leave you guys alone. Hey, Karen needs you now, right? I'll phone Mrs. Binder. I'll try to come right over. I promise. Okay, but if you need me, call me on my cell phone. You keep the door locked and don't open it to anybody but Mrs. Binder. I'll be back as soon as I can. Bye, guys. Too bad, Mrs. Binder's not home. I think it's scary movie time. Eight legs of death. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's hard to believe that so many spiders came out of that one little cactus. <laughs> yeah. Who knew an ugly plant could be so dangerous? Tyler, how come you didn't want to give Mrs. Langdon the injection? Hank already had the needle in his hand. He was on it. Yeah, but it was your first time running the call. I would have thought you would have wanted to do Look, it. Look, Val, Hank had it. No big deal. I'll get the next one. I hate spiders. I can't watch. Ew. What happened? It's the mother spider. She's crawling up her back. <laughs> Relax. It's just popcorn. What, what was that? There's something outside. Amy, go see what it is. Why do I have to go? Because it's your house? It's probably just a raccoon. A big raccoon. So we thought we'd bring you a pizza. Where's the rest of it? <clears throat> oh, I got a little hungry on the way over. Well, we couldn't help but notice that you fine ladies were watching Eight Legs of Death. It is just getting the best part. Please. Please. Okay, you can stay and watch the end of the movie, but then you gotta go because my sister's gonna be back soon. Five, six, and seven, and eight, and. 9 and 10, 11 and 12, and 13 and 14 and 15 stop compressions. We need epistat. 
Your patient looks a little green. Uh, I, I, I was just... Practicing. You must think I am a total loser. Why would I ever think that? Because I couldn't give an injection. What if I gave somebody the wrong drug? You know, what, what if I gave somebody too much? I mean, there's, there's so many little things that could go wrong. Tyler, it's perfectly normal to be nervous. Running a call is a very big responsibility. And what if I don't have what it takes to be an EMT intermediate? <laughs> I mean, may, maybe I'm not ready. Tyler, you aced the test. You're ready. I just don't want to let anybody down. And you won't. Hey, Brooke, where did you say they found all those tarantulas? Some woman's house up on Browning Road. Browning Road? That's just a couple of blocks from here, isn't it? But they're on their way over here right now. Zip it, Mark. Hey, I hear that if a tarantula bites you, your body starts twitching and twitching until you're dead. Actually, a tarantula bite wouldn't kill you. It'd probably just make you sick. Well, unless you got bitten by a whole bunch of them, that'd kill you. <laughs> that is so not true, is it, Nick? Well, I guess if you were bitten several times and had a lot of venom in your system, then... Venom? Well, all spiders carry venom, but if you were allergic to it and didn't get to the hospital in time, yeah, I guess you could die. Gee, Brooke, you better hope they caught them all. It's Brooke. Hey, it's me. What's up? Those tarantulas are only two blocks away from here. What if they get into the house? Brooke, slow down. He wouldn't have freaked if it wasn't possible. Well, they could be anywhere. And you didn't tell me they were poisoned. Brooke, calm down. And foaming. If they bite us, we could die. You're not going to die. Well, but what if... <coughs> Brooke? Hello? Brooke? What's wrong? Brooke screamed, and then the line went dead. And now it's busy. I should go over there and make sure she's all right. I wouldn't worry about it. They're probably just goofing around. <laughs> I screamed so hard my throat hurt. <laughs> it's still busy. Well, it's only a couple blocks from here. You couldn't hurt to check it out. We need to gas up the ambulance anyways. Uh, I'll pay you guys if we get a call. You are so gross. Oh. You're gonna put marshmallow cream on top of peanut butter and jelly? Hey, don't knock until you try this. Okay, now, we add a little chocolate syrup, and of course, for texture, who could forget the frosted chocolate juice? Brooke! 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 It's me, it's Val. Open up! Val, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? You screamed and then the line went dead. Mark had a fake spider. It kind of startled me. Brooke, I thought this was an emergency. Val, I'm sorry, I thought it was real. Well, you should have called me as soon as you found out it was fake. Well, I didn't know you were gonna come over here. What did you think I was going to do? You called me in a panic. You were screaming. Val, you know how much I hate spiders. And those tarantulas are out there. And we were watching Eight Legs of Death. I guess I kind of got a little carried away. That is no excuse. What are you guys doing here alone? Where's Barb? Well, she had to go help a friend. She should be back any minute. And what are you guys doing here? Hey, we just wanted to watch the movie. And we brought over pizza, and we're leaving soon. No, no, you're leaving now. You guys should have never, ever let them in here. Did you hear me? Out! Now! Brooke, I'm really disappointed in you. I thought you were much more mature than this. It's Hank, let's go. Val, no.
I can't believe she did that. Well, she said she was sorry. Just cut the kids some slack. I guess I'm just not used to seeing her act like this. You know, she's usually so responsible. Well, she can't be perfect all the time. I mean, it's hard, you know, when people have such high expectations of you. It's a lot to live up to. You don't want to let anybody down. Yeah. You know, you're pretty smart for a cheerleader. Hey! <laughs> What's up? We just got an injury over on Factory Row. Adult male got his hand caught in some kind of machinery. Let's do it! Are you in? Go, go, go! Well, it looks like I win again. You cheat. No, I do not. Check his pocket. See? Hello? Barb, hi. Hey. Quiet, you guys, it's my sister. Yeah, we're fine. Mrs. Binder, she's here. She's in the bathroom. When are you gonna be home? Oh, all right. No, Barb, we're fine. Don't worry about us. Okay, all right, bye. Is she on her way home? No, they're still waiting for the police. She said she'd probably be another hour. If it's gonna be that long, maybe we should call Mrs. Bender. If we do, the party's over, and I'm still having a good time. Cool, deal them up. She's over there. Excuse me, excuse me. Come on, Joe, hang in there, buddy. Let's get the O2 going. Borderline 100 over 60. Breathing shallow. Multiple fractures. We're gonna have to dress and elevate. That's not how you do it. Here. Guys, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Ah. 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 We gotta get him something for the pain. Call the hospital and get clearance. Right. This is, you know, 156. Make her throw up. What do you want me to do, Jen? Stick my fingers down her throat? Somebody do something. I'll try the Heimlich maneuver. Here. Up, you come. Uh. Oh. Sir, please try and lie still. Hang in there, sir. This should help with the pain. Steer away. Are you sure you're doing it right? Yes. Uh, you have to press harder, Nick. I'm trying not to hurt her. I'll do it. You're gonna be okay, sir. She's in breathing. We're going to help you up now, sir. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So far, he's stable. We had to give him something for the pain. ER's in the loop, they got X-ray standing by.
Well, you did it. Congratulations. Yeah, you came through when it counted. Thanks. I learned from the best. <laughs> Vehicle 156, call, over. This is 156, over. We have a 12-year-old girl in respiratory arrest at 71 Horton Road. Can you respond? That's where Brooke is. What, what if it's her? This is vehicle 156 on route to 71 Horton Road, ETA, four minutes. She paged me when we were working on the accident, and I didn't call her back. I, I couldn't. Val, it'll be OK. We're almost there. On Amy, breathe. Amy! Okay, she's breathing. Help me get her on her side. Brooke, are you okay? Yeah, I I'm fine. What happened here? Amy started choking, and then she couldn't breathe, and she passed out. But then Brooke jumped right in there and gave her mouth to mouth. She saved her life. Yeah, well. Nick helped, too. He gave her the Heimlich maneuver and got the food out of her throat. Is she going to be OK? Yeah, I think she's going to be all right. But we still need to take her to the hospital. Your tarantula. Oh, I wouldn't worry about those anymore. Pest control came in, sprayed the whole neighborhood, so they're probably all gone by now. Val, I'm sorry. I really messed up, huh? Oh, yeah. But I guess I can cut you some slack, as long as you never do it again. Don't worry, once is more than enough. Did you check on Amy? Yeah, I called the hospital and they said that her mom came and took her home. She's gonna be fine. I was so scared. When you walked through that door, oh, I've never been so happy to see anyone <laughs> in my life. But you did it. You saved your life. Brooke, I'm sorry I was so hard on you before. That's okay, yeah. I'm sorry I paged you over a stupid plastic spider. It's just that whenever I'm scared, you're the first one I call. Well, I'm glad. Well, let's go home. Is that a tattoo? Oh, we need to talk. Famous punch coming through. Is it good? Look, it's gotta be good. Could be the best I've ever made. Hey guys, he just pulled into the lot. Oh, he's gonna be so surprised. Oh. Surprise! <laughs> what is this? Congratulations, you passed the EMT test. I, I did? I just got the letter, it's official. You're now a genuine, bona fide EMT basic. No doubt, as of today, you can check vitals, give oxygen, treat wounds. Hope I do okay. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Punch? <laughs> sure, thanks. <laughs> Guys, you didn't have to do this, really. Yeah, we did. It's your welcome to the club. Now, how about a picture of the squad with its newest EMT? Yeah, that's a great idea. <clears throat> I'd like to propose a toast to the EMTs who came before us and those that will follow after. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Lemon juice, vinegar, Tabasco, and clam sauce. Oh. 
Ugh, that's foul. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it looks like we've got a few keepers here, especially this one where we can't find a place to sit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I could give all you guys a good laugh. Oh, oh, chill. Everybody gets the EMT punch. Check it out. Voila. <laughs> you like it? Go. Now you really are one of us. I love this one right here. Are you cleaning the piano or playing it? Both. I love the way the keys feel when they're all clean. Oh, note for Mom. Family meeting tonight. Maybe Dad got a new job. Then we could go back to buying the good paper towels. <laughs> I don't think so. The doctor said he still needs time for his heart to heal. Maybe Mom got a promotion. She just started three weeks ago. And I guess that rolls out new car. Hey, maybe it's a family vacation. Since Dad needs a rest, this is a perfect time. Oh, I hope it doesn't interfere with my piano recital. Brooke, I don't think we're going on a vacation. Did you know my piano teacher wants to have the recital here? It's kind of an honor. Plus, we have a big house. We're home. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Mom, is everything OK? Sure, honey, everything's fine. But we do need to talk. The cardiologist said your dad's doing great. But she doesn't think he should go back to work just yet. And that means we're going to have less money. So we have to downsize. No sweat. I can live with the cheap paper towels. <laughs> Brooke, honey, I, I wish it were as easy as just cutting corners. We have to sell the house. Our home? How can you even think about moving? Well, hopefully it's only temporary. But we just can't afford to live here right now. Temporary? Well, when can we move back? Well, we're not sure. Everything's a little uncertain. Which means that instead of using up our savings, the smartest thing we can do is find a less expensive place to live. I'm sorry. Dad, it's OK. We'll be fine. It's home. Why couldn't this happen after the piano recital? Brooke! Brooke! It takes months to sell a house. And then you go into escrow, and that takes months. We'll still be here for your recital. Heck, we'll probably still be here for Christmas. Vomiting, fever, um, kind of delirious. She keeps talking about tapioca pudding and Amelia Earhart. Oh, Kyle, not now. Miss Anne is sick. It's probably flu or food poisoning. Uh, check her tent. So it just came on all of a sudden? Yeah, it's right in the middle of reading Bambi. She just started heaving all over the alphabet blocks. Hell no, the blocks are icky. She could have found somewhere better than the block bucket to get sick. Well, you said yourself that it hit suddenly. Well, even still. Oh. 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 oh dear. Are you all right? Oh. Yeah, the women are stable, but the fevers keep spiking. So now there's like a million kids with no teachers and they haven't been able to reach all the parents. No, 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 honey. We don't hit our friends with the banana. Oh, Kyle, Kyle, no. No, it's all buggy zicky. All right, it's all buggy zicky. 
Oh, what are we? Oh. We're gonna have a little quiet time. Mm -hmm. have hey guys, Alex is gonna put the on call squad on standby while we take the teachers in. Meantime, I'm really sorry to say it, but uh, gotta leave two of you behind. I'm guessing low EMT on the totem pole gets to stay, right? <sighs> sorry. <laughs> and Val. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna be totally sexist and make the woman do the child's care. Are you Hank? Apparently not. Todd, good luck. Come on. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, Hank. Go. Maybe, maybe we should rethink this. Hey, guys, guys, don't beat me. What, guys? And they're talking about moving to Prospect Heights. Well, at least it's not so far that you have to change schools or anything. Yeah, but it's so far I'll have to start taking the bus. And so far I won't be able to ride my bike to piano lessons. And so far I can't hang out with you and Amy. So, uh, I guess what you're saying is so far no good? <laughs> bye bye Emily. Again, more putt-putt. Oh, I think I pulled something giving those kids horsey rides today. Again, more putt-putt, again. <laughs> and you gotta help me. My lips are gonna fall off my face. It kind of looks like you gave your arm a giant hickey. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now, well, this is not exactly the start I pictured as an official EMT. Well, what did you expect? I don't know, just something more serious, more important, dignified, you know? <laughs> Maybe not so much. Putt putt! <laughs> putt putt. <laughs> I'm sorry I bit your head off. I've been bummed since that stupid for sale sign went up. Um. What sign? They changed their mind! Oh, I knew they couldn't sell the house! I knew it! Yes! Yes! I knew it! Yes! They sold the house. What? Our house. It's sold and we have to be out in two weeks. Brooke, calm down. You're not making any sense. Nobody moves in two weeks. Yeah, we'll tell that to Mom and Dad. They said we'll get some bonus if we're out in two weeks. But it takes the bank longer than that to do the paperwork. Yeah, well, the buyer's some important vice president at a big company. I think they have their own bank. And there goes my piano recital. Two weeks? And we're not even gonna get one last Christmas at the house. Mm. Come on, moving to a smaller house could be fun if we make the best of it. Girls, can you bring those boxes in here, please? It's so tiny. <sighs> Dad and I think it's kind of cozy. Bedrooms are great, wanna see? Where are we gonna fit the piano? It's a problem we're still trying to solve, Brooke. Honey, right now there's no room for the piano. Well, then how am I supposed to practice? Could you use the one at the school? And doesn't Nick have a piano? I bet you could practice there. Oh, sweetheart. I'm sorry, honey. Listen to me, hopefully all this is just gonna be temporary. But in the meantime, storing a baby grand would cost us a fortune. And the piano's worth a lot of money, which we could use right now. Fine. Go ahead and sell it. Uh, I don't care. Well, Connie, wait a minute. It's so way more crowded than I ever thought. And there's only one phone line, and she gets on the internet the second she gets home from school. So I miss all of my phone calls, and she... I have to get off the computer because Mom needs it for work. This place is the worst. Brooke, we were kind of having a conversation here. So? It's my room, too. She's got a point. I mean, just, like, a little privacy, please. Well, it's not my fault we're all crammed in here like rats. Are you kidding? Only two to a room? And your bedspreads even match. In my house, we have eight people, three bedrooms, and one bath. Okay, that is crammed like rats. No, it's just because we're both used to a lot more space and being alone. Well, you just gotta learn to be alone inside your head, you know? Like, mentally create a space. Like, even if you're in a crowd, I'll give you guys pointers. Great! Then we'll both turn into antisocial misfits like you. Look. 
Oh, I so do not need this attitude from her. What is her problem? Oh. Brooke threw away her sheet music. Just took a pretty big hit when her piano got sold. No wonder she's got an attitude. Secondhand mattresses? No, musical instruments. I'm looking for a cheap, upright piano for Brooke. I thought you said there was no room. I thought maybe we could put it in the basement. Of course, then she'll need a space heater for winter. Yeah. You know, you could get our keyboard. You slide it right into the bed. That's where mine is. You play keyboard? Well, sort of. See, I had this band in junior high, Tyler and the Turbos. <clears throat> we only lasted a month, probably because we only knew one song and none of us could sing, but... Mm. I'm sorry I missed that. I'm not. <laughs> but um, if Brooke wants my old keyboard, she could have it. I mean, I could use this bass under my bed. Tyler, thank you. That's really nice of you. We thought for sure we'd made it. I mean, it's been over a week, but no. Now the kids have the flu. What's that smell? Oh, I'm afraid the little ones are sick from both ends. Big time. We're gonna need some bigger towels. Any really high fevers, loss of consciousness, convulsions, shaking? No, just sick and very cranky. All right, first off, we'll check vitals. Watch where you stay. All right, come on. What is this, another initiation for my first week? I mean, number one, the punch. Number two, well, number two? No, no. Even the fiendish brook couldn't come up with something this bad. Hank, would you open a window? My eyes are starting to water. Unless somebody's got a dangerously high fever, you should just send them home. Oh, and risk the lawsuits? No. No, you are taking them to the hospital. Pot, pot. Jamie, I think he wants pot, pot man. Um, pot, pot man? Better, buddy, huh? Uh-oh. I think it's gonna be a big one. but I'm not playing anymore. What? Things change. That's a part of my life that's over. Brooke, for once, could you at least try to have a good attitude about things? No, I'm sick of having a good attitude. I was happy in our old house. Why did this have to happen? I don't know why. But did you ever stop to think that you're not the only person in this family who's had to move into a smaller house, and in the meantime, the rest of us are living with a real pain in the butt? Three days, 21 showers, and I still smell like baby barf. You, you don't, don't smell. I'm telling you, it seeped into my pores. I'm telling you, it seeped into your brain. Say what, Putt-Putt Man? I told you not to call me. Hey, guys, they want you back at the daycare. Oh, 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 oh. Man, no, 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 no. I can't do nice smell. Just stop. No, no. No, no. Incoming. It's just finger paint. How many sick this time? Oh, nobody's sick. We have something to give you. Just... Here, 
Sure, Putt Putt Man. <laughs> Thank you for service above and beyond the call of duty. You can say that again. Open your back to the old house. I forgot. It drove off with us. Can't Val do it? She's out buying charcoal. Dad's barbecuing? We're just happy he's finally got his appetite back again. Gotta run. I know you feel like the walls are closing in on you. It's hard to find relief. And people can be so cold. What are you doing here? Uh, thinking about a barbecue made me kind of homesick. You were only two, so I don't know if you'll remember, but it took Dad a whole summer to build that thing. <laughs> sure had a lot of fun here. I didn't think you cared. Brooke. Of course I care. But mostly, I keep thinking, so what if we had to sell the house? We could have lost Dad. I know. I know what. I'm sorry I've been such a jerk. It's just so hard to leave home. Why do things have to change? I don't know why. I just know that they do. And the trick is to learn to go with it. Try to enjoy it. Look for the challenge. Our new room seems more like a nightmare than a challenge. <laughs> Do you know, I remember when you learned to ride a bike. You'd ride back and forth like a little pro. And then as soon as we take off your training wheels, kaboom, you'd fall down. So we'd put them back on, you'd practice some more. And then we'd take them off and you'd fall again. <laughs> I still have the scar from one of those falls. Yeah, but you didn't give up. You kept trying until you learned to ride the bike. And when you did, you could go places you'd never been. Yeah, like all the way to the end of the block. <laughs> and then to the park, and to your friends, and to school. And back home for one last visit. What's that for? I didn't want to leave the hearthstone with our handprints. Yeah, well, you're gonna need something more like a crowbar. That's set in concrete. No. All I want is a rubbing. Go, go, go! I want to see the sweat! I want to see the sweat!
want to see some blood! I want to see some tears! I'm not asking you to do or give anything! I haven't done it! Give myself! Stick up! Stick up hard! Come on, I want to go! Dig in, dig in, dig in! Hurry! Men, the key to this season is being teamwork! Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork! That's what elevates us above all the rest! That's the difference between city champs and pathetic losers! Trust, respect, control! Know your assignment! Play in position! Trust your teammates to play theirs! This is not the hokey pokey, my friends! It's football! Quote my coach, Coach Snickman. Never thought I was good enough. If we want to win this championship, you've got to, got to remember one thing. There is no I in team. Okay, let's get back at it. Yeah. All right, go! All right. go. Dream machine? We are. Now, who's a dynamic duo? You and me, because we are the best. No doubt. <laughs> Take a knee. I wish you guys could see what I see. I see teamwork. I see dedication. I see a chance to stick it to Spreewell. Yeah! And have the first undefeated season in this school's history! Yeah! Take that, Coach Snickman! <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Spreewell prep is tough competition. They're also undefeated. And a victory gives them home field advantage for the playoffs. So I gotta ask you, players. You warriors of the turf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gladiators of the gridiron. Yeah. Are we gonna let that happen? No. What? No. What? No. What are we gonna do on Saturday? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Right at the challenge. Yeah. No. 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 Can't wait to stick to those guys from Spreewa. Ooh, I hear that. Hey guys, looking good. Well, thank you for passing me away as all season will be in great shape on Saturday. Uh, I get them to you, you bring them home. Oh, you guys are like a married couple. With helmets and shoulder pads, of course. <laughs> oh. Oh, right, that's us. Let's do it. Oh, man, kind of sorry to miss that shower. Oh, not as sorry as I am. <laughs> I had to call you. I didn't know what else to do. It's okay. Just tell us what happened. She was on the slide and she started having trouble breathing. My mom gave me this, but I can't get it to work. What's her name? It's Monica. Just, just please help her, okay? It's all my fault. No, it's not. You were right to call us. We're gonna take care of her. Okay, we're set. Okay, Monica, my name is Jamie. You know how to do this, right? Take deep breaths, nice and easy. Good. Good. Heart rate coming down. You're doing fine. You're doing excellent. You've heard of Rumble in the Jungle? This was more like Rumble in the Jungle Gym. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that funny. Hey, Tyler, there's a call for you. <laughs> Thanks. What's so funny in here? Jamie. What happened to you? <clears throat> he got dropped. Yeah, by an eight-year-old girl. <clears throat> you got beat up by a little girl? Out cold. <laughs> How was I supposed to know she was going to have a paradoxical reaction to the inhaler? Huh? Sometimes a person's body chemistry can have a weird reaction to certain medications. <laughs> and boy, did that little girl have a weird reaction. She about turned to Oscar De La Hoya. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny. Hey, Tyler, what's the matter? Hey. Hey, what's going on? Who was on the phone? William the Emperor. Oh, your stepdad. The one and only. I thought you two were getting along now. We were. I mean, until he started his campaign for Stepfather of the Year. I mean, all of a sudden, he wants to run my life. You getting enough sleep, Tyler? Is your math homework done? The guy is so lame, it's pathetic. You know, he's probably just trying his best to... to impress my mom, and I really wish he'd give it a rest. Baby, go 
Dude, that is brutal. Yeah, yeah, you should have seen this guy, man. Like 6'3", 250. It's not what Val said. She told me it was more like uh, three foot six, 52 pounds. Val said that? <laughs> yeah. No, no. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hank, Tyler, bring it over here. What's up, coach? I'm working on a special play just in case we need a miracle on Saturday. Tyler, you're gonna be in motion, heading towards the middle. Hank's gonna lateral. Tyler, I need you to fake the run, then drop back and pass and hit Hank, who's gonna find an opening downfield. Basically, Hank, you're just doing Tyler's job, and Tyler, you're just doing Hank's job. Let's give it a try. Oh. Do it. Hey. Hey. Look, if you can get your fingers on the laces of the ball, it'll help with accuracy. Yeah, thanks. I know to throw the ball. Yeah, but not accurately. Hank, it doesn't matter how accurately I throw the ball if you're not there to catch it. Well, what's wrong with you, man? You know what? Nothing. My only problem is you're not where I need you to be. Guys, whoa, 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 whoa. easy, easy. You just need practice. Don't put so much pressure on yourselves. Remember, work together. That's the key. Let's do it again. Line it up. Let's get it right. Hey, what's up? Nothing. What are you doing? <sighs> Team necessities. Which bra is right for you? Well, I don't know. Which bra is right for me? Um, I'm doing a, a report for school on E-commerce. Right. The e-underwear market. And I shouldn't be using this computer. I have to log off before Alex catches me. Just forget you saw that, okay? It's not a crime. No, but if people around here found out, the jokes would be endless. Believe me, you know. Jamie, please, don't tell anybody. I'll think about it. All right, keep it coming. Uh, cut the wheel, you're coming in close on the right. Yeah, I see it. More, 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 keep cutting, keep cutting. Hank, I can see it in my mirror. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're going to hit these boxes. I have done this before, Hank. Just trying to help. Dressed for the office on a football game. Well, at least he came on such a miserable day. No, he probably just wants to make sure I play up to my potential. Well, good luck. Thanks. Concentration. Man, he almost fumbled twice. They were bad passes. Guys, come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Hey, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in! Hey, we're out of field goal range, but we're gonna have to win this outright. Hank, Tyler, you know what that means, okay? 
Prepare mentally. Just relax. Now go out there and wipe their butts! Go! Yeah. No! You gave it to me. Be the from you this whole game! It's a tough loss, guys. Put up a good fight. Let's say we go to Angelo's for pizza on me. See you guys there? No, count me out, coach. Me too. Hey, I don't want to sound like a cliche, but you win some, you lose some. In this one, we should have won. We were one play away. Look, guys. Don't get down on yourselves. We're eight and one and in the playoffs. It's okay. Really? No. But I'm a teacher, I have to say that. Nice pass. Hank, don't go there. You know, it's not too complicated, Tata. You find the open man and pass the ball. And maybe if you could read the coverage. I mean, you should have cut left. Hey, there was Tyler, no opening. We gotta call on what are you Mercer, talking about? There was a hole the size of Wyoming. Yeah, and you threw an interception. Don't go telling me this is all my fault. Guys, we gotta move now. So you fell, ma'am, is that right? Oh, pay attention. I said I did. Where does it hurt, Mrs. Scott? I told you, my leg. Yes, ma'am, but where? The whole thing. Are you sure you're old enough to be doctors? We're emergency medical services. We do have a lot of training to do this. If you could just try to stay calm. Calm? How calm can you be when children are driving ambulances? It's a broken femur. We're gonna need the Sager splint and traction. No, I think it's a dislocated hip. We strap it and stabilize. Hank, you're wrong. I mean, look at the swelling in the bruise. Could be an old bruise. Look the way the hip's rotated. That says hip problem. Will you let me handle this? Not if you're handling it poorly. Will you two please get it together? She's right. Let's just make a decision and get her to the hospital. That's our job. It's not to sit around here and argue. You tell him, honey. Oh. Okay, oh. we're wrapping the hip. Hey, Katie. Here are the math notes Val left for you. Oh. How's your eye? Oh, I was just telling him, actually, I could you know, lend him a little mascara or something for the other eye, kind of balance out that look he's going for. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Brooke! Hey, what's wrong? Who was the last person to use this computer? Why? I came in here to pull down some invoices and the last active file is a lingerie website. Now, I can't imagine what that has to do with emergency medical services. So I want to know who would be downloading this during work and why? Um, I don't know. It's just, that's the strangest thing. Well, I know that it wasn't you. Yeah, but, um. Well, then just give me a name. It was me. That is completely inappropriate behavior, especially in the work site. This little stunt has earned you a month of mopping duty. You got that? Won't happen again, sir. Thanks for bailing me out. You were really great. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry I teased you about your eye. I'm not letting anybody do that from now on. And you're gonna help me mop those floors. Definitely. I just wish I hadn't have clicked on teen necessities in the first place. Yeah, why were you checking out teen necessities? <gasps> Your first bra. <gasps> Brooke. <gasps> Go away, we're having a moment. Like anyone would want to stay. <sighs> Come on, sit down. 
Sit down. So, what's going on? Tell your Auntie Katie. Come on. Really, you'll feel better if you, pardon the pun, get it off your chest. There's nothing really to tell. Brooke, you were surfing the net for lingerie. That's a total cry for help. Well, I wasn't planning to buy anything. I just wanted to be prepared. Some of the girls in my class are already wearing bras, and I just thought that... You might be ready for one? <laughs> no, that I'd be the only one who's... Uh, who's never ready. <laughs> yeah. I know, I went through the same thing. But you know what, sooner or later, it happens to everyone. Trust me. Really? Yeah, really. And when it does, you can go to your mom or Val or, you know, if you're smart, me. <laughs> We've all been there and we know how to shop. Thanks, Katie. No problem. Just um, don't tell anyone I'm so sweet and understanding, okay? It's ruined my reputation. <laughs> so the hospital called to confirm Miss Quackenbush's address and I asked them what the diagnosis was. Broken femur, right? No way, it was a hip. As a matter of fact, yeah, it was her hip. Yeah, you always gotta be right, don't you? No, but this time I was. You know what? I am sick of you bossing me around. You got a real problem. Oh, me? No, 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 no. You're the one with the problem. Tyler, stop it! Tyler, Tyler, stop it! If you guys just grow up, just grow up! I want Val, stay out of this. This is none of your business. Yes, it is. We are a team. We depend on each other. You were way out of line on that call. You almost let personal stuff get in the way of treating a patient. And you know what? If you had, you guys both could have been kicked off the squad. I'm really disappointed in you. Tyler. Tyler. Talking to me? Of course. Look, I'm sorry I was so rough on you. I, I meant what I said, but I, I could have said it better. No, you were right. I mean, I was completely unprofessional. Maybe this has to do with your stepdad. I just, I see how you act around him. William, I can handle him. Right. I mean, you can put a good face on it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, you know, things aren't great at home, and you didn't want to admit it, and you just... Took it out on Hank and you, instead of trusting my team and telling you what was going on. I try, Val. I mean, I, I really try. But the more William and my mom pretend everything is normal and we're one big happy family, I mean, I just want to throw up. I mean, nothing is normal anymore, and I wish everyone would just admit it. Hey, me too. And every time my mom gets worried about my dad's heart, she puts on this cheerful little fake smile, and uh, I could just scream. Yeah, but you don't. You go out there and do your job like a pro. Oh, well, yeah, because I work with the best. I work with you. Come on. Loser has to clean up the kitchen. Hey, I'm at Rich! Go! Go, 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 go! Let's go! Hey! Do it. We don't need to practice injuries. Keep me on the playoffs. No, no. Tell me you're not hurt. Tell me you're not hurt. We're not hurt. That's good. Okay, let's take ten. Hey guys, take ten. Man, this is stupid. I hear that. I had some problems at home with my parents. 
You know, I let the pressure get to me, and I blew up with you because you were there. I'm sorry. Hey, it's not all on you. Yeah, I definitely share some blame here. Hey, I'm a terrible receiver. I totally would have that pass. That's about the only time I can remember you not being there for me, man. You know, you put up with a lot. I can always talk to you. Hey, cut it out. My head will get too big for my helmet. Your mom's cool, man. Yeah, maybe your stepdad's cooler than you give him credit for. Yeah, maybe. The important thing is... we're still a team, right? <sighs> Only one thing to say to that. <sighs> Go along. Yourself. You're just like mom. She totally flips if I wear her makeup. Since when do you care? Since it's my makeup. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Honey, where are all my clean shirts? Oh, Three, I forgot. Two, They're still in the dryer. One. Val? Can I get the laundry for you, mom? Thanks, hon. You're a doll. I'm late. I'll help you. At least dad's getting better. Yeah, but now we may have heart attacks. So, uh, homecoming. Everybody at your school who isn't a mega loser is going. Are you going? I hope so. And by that you mean Tyler Connell hasn't asked you yet and you're totally free. No, Brooke, it's so not like that. Me and Tyler are just friends. And it's not like there's a ton of pressure just because of some you know, dumb dance. If you say so, but what's that I smell? Oh, de mega loser? Okay, Brooke, come here. See that? Smell the fear, okay? Stop! 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 Hey. Why are you running for Melanie Chan? Hey, Isn't the fact that she's Melanie hey. Chan enough? That was just stalking me. She wants to ask me to the homecoming dance, but I don't want to hurt the girl. Okay, could you get over yourself long enough to politely tell her no? Seriously, I don't want to hurt her. And plus, the way I dance, you got to be like a professional athlete to keep up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You're, uh, you're, you're protecting her. Exactly. Is, uh, she could throw an embolism seeing that coming at her. I could hurt you, man. You know, I could hurt you real bad. Hank, wait up! So what about Val? You're taking it to homecoming, right? Man, you are all over this dance. You sure you're not a girl? Ooh, Val, can I carry the defibrillator for you? <sighs> okay, I like Val. I mean, we're friends, and his friends will most likely end up going to the dance together. There, now you can alert the media. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oh, clean ding the rebound machine. <laughs> Let's head to your box. Basketball season hasn't started. <laughs> the way you boys are playing, doesn't look like football season started either. Hey, do you guys know of Val Lanier seeing anybody? Why? Man, that girl's all that. She has a... You know, she hangs out with a friend. Not a boyfriend, though. <laughs> no, she's too busy to have a boyfriend. You know, she's got the cheerleading thing, and she uh, studies and works all the time. Yeah. She's an EMT. That's so awesome. Yeah, you know, we're EMTs too. Yeah, but you're guys. Why would I want to dance with you? I'm asking Val. Ooh, uh, we're EMTs too. <laughs> That's weak, man. That's weak. <laughs>
Even in a post-feminist era, dances are rituals that still focus on male dominance. Women shouldn't be afraid to just shatter the collective social mold and say, I don't need a man to ask me to a dance. You know, I can just dance. Katie, please, I want to go to the dance, and I want a guy to ask me. That is so last millennium. And if you're waiting for Tyler to ask you out, I say quit the squad. What? Are you so blonde? I mean, blind. But you can't see Tyler is never going to cross that nasty friend line while you guys work together. OK, well, what about you and Jamie? There is no me and Jamie. And besides, he hangs with my friends. It would be totally uncool. Oh, so quit hanging with your friends. Dances are for jocks and jockettes to gather together, admire one another, and make fun of everybody else. Well, I'm going, and I'm going to ask the vow before Lean Dean does. Yeah, I'm going to the dance, too. I've got the suit, I've got the shoes, and you know I've got the moves. All I need now is the girl. <laughs> Melanie. <laughs> it's, it's so nice to, um... <laughs> well, here you are. <laughs> so, I hear you don't have a date homecoming. Want to take me? Gosh, gosh, you know, um, I'd love to take you. But you see, I, I don't think it's going to be a good I idea for me to drive. To drive, yeah, because you see, my car is just, um... <clears throat> That's OK. I'll drive. We'll take one of my dad's corporate vehicles. I'll pick you up Saturday at 7 sharp. How you and your EMT squad saved six kids and a dog from poison gas. You were so unbelievably amazing. Hey, Val. Oh, hey, Dane. Just talk to the belly button. Actually, it was uh, two kids and a hamster from Bad Bainays, but thanks. Sorry, what, what were we saying? course, you uh, can't freak a nature over there asking about homecoming. Oh, that's great. Why did you let this happen? Hey, look, if I were in charge of Val, she'd have purple hair, OK? <laughs> Tyler, talk to you to history? Oh, OK. These models be. Poor Hank, Melanie hooked him. Hmm? Here it's one jock zero. Go, girl. This whole dance thing is just a little out of control. Yeah. Way scary. But he's like, what are you wearing? And whose party are we gonna hit afterwards? It's pathetic. Yeah. I'm glad you're not into that stuff. Oh, and I am now. Not in my lifetime. I mean, the only reason to even go would be to watch everybody make a total idiot of themselves. Yeah, no. Observing rockheads and skanks in their natural habitat is always a fascinating study. You know, we could go and do something, freak everybody out. You know what? You're on. And I got the plan. Okay. All right, I'll run to the flat here. I think just play action fake. Val, look, clear mascara. But if you can't see it, what's the point? Just because you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. Hey, don't you think it's weird that mom and dad's anniversary is this Saturday and they don't even have plans? No, what I think is weird is that you think it's any of your business. Hey, Brooke. Guess what? Dean Kofke asked me to the dance today. Ooh, Lean Dean the Rebound Machine. What'd you say? Shh, shh, shh. 
You'll probably have the outside linebacker and the safety on I bet on you me. they're talking about Lean Dean. I said no, obviously. But I still think Tyler might ask me. But no, Heather Stillmore is like all over him. <laughs> Heather Stillmore from cheerleading? Ew, no way he likes her. Just because he can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. What's up, Alice? <laughs> Who's this? Oh, tic-tac-toe gone terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> no, it's plays. Lincoln wiped us last year's state, and there's nothing more embarrassing than losing your own homecoming. Yeah, except showing up to the dance with Melanie Chan. Hey, yeah, see, I'm only calling plays that get me crushed so I can spend dance night in traction. That's how I'm working. Okay, this whole homecoming thing is way out of control. Now, you boys both seriously need lives. I hear that. It's a football game and a dance. Big deal. <laughs> Going? Because if Reporting kid sideline by side dish. You want to add anything? I was hiding it from Dad. Well, that's a good place. Dads never think to look for Brussels sprouts up people's noses. I, I don't get it. How could this happen? Mr. Trockley, he's just fine. Don't be so hard on yourself. What? No, no, I mean, how could this happen? How could anyone, let alone a five-year-old, fit a one-inch Brussels sprout up his nose? You'd be amazed at what some people are capable of. What is she mad at me for? She's the one that's going to the dance with that gland case lean dean. Yeah, so you gonna let this girl do you like that? Yeah? No, Doc, you are not. Okay, you've been in emergency response long enough to know that you gotta fight fire with fire. I mean, this whole not having romantic plans on your anniversary thing could be the sign of serious trouble between mom and dad. Or they're not telling you their plans could be a sign of serious intelligence. Don't you get it? First, someone gets sick, and then the other one is too much to do and starts resenting the sick one. And then anniversaries get forgotten and we become another horrible statistic. Brooke, stop worrying. You're gonna make yourself crazy. And what's worse, you're gonna make me crazy. Hey. You know how you don't have a date for your special night and that makes you feel all forgotten, left out, and passed over? For your safety's sake, there better be a point to this. I'm going to fix Mom and Dad up on a date. I'll get them dinner reservations and flowers and iron their best clothes and a lap and have a great time and everything will be back to normal. Hey, what's up? Oh, nothing, just Brooke being a lunatic. Oh, uh, yeah, my little brother goes nuts sometimes, too. Usually just flush his head in the toilet. <laughs> Um, hey, can I put your cheerleading uniform? No, there's a sentence I never thought I'd hear from you. Yeah, Jamie and I are going to the dance dressed as a cheerleader and a football player to totally diss the actual Doc and Jock heads. Nice. Hey, why don't you and Dean come with us? Gee, as much fun as that would oh, be. Oh, right, I forgot. Sorry, you two are actual Doc and Jock heads. I said no to Dean. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I figured since Tyler's going with Heather, you'd for sure be going with Dean. Oh, oh, um, uh, listen, okay, Jamie told me he just asked her. I mean, there still might be time for him to ditch her. Could my life get any worse? <sighs> ah, wait up. Hey. Listen, Hank told me that Jamie told him that you told Katie that Heather... Can you finish the sentence where you be all grown up? Sorry. Look, I'm going to the dance with Heather, but only because I thought you were going with the rebound machine. Oh, and that makes it better why. Look, Val, I messed up, but... Do you know what, Tyler? Save it. I don't care about the stupid dance or who goes with who. Fine, then I'm going. Well, I'm fine that you are. Fine. Fine. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Brooke was kind enough to help me with my makeup. 
What is with her obsession with makeup? She's 12. I don't think I cared about makeup when I was 12. Oh, sweetheart, you were never 12. You were a child, then you were an EMT. <laughs> Speaking of which, I feel like Cinderella volunteering to hold down the on-call shift alone while my wicked stepbrothers go to the ball. It's not the dance that's bothering you, is it? Honey, believe it or not, you did the right thing. Not going with the wrong guy just to go to the dance. Thanks, Mom. I'm still bummed. I mean, aren't you kind of bummed that Dad didn't make plans to take you out for your anniversary? <laughs> no. We planned to have no plans. Between you and me, I wish Brooke didn't have her heart set on this date thing. I would just love to stay at home, curl up on the couch, and watch Breakfast at Tiffany's on cable tonight. Oh, that, that's so romantic. <laughs> Sweetheart, I know it doesn't make you feel better right now. I promise, one day you'll be out for a burger with the right guy, It'll be more romantic than any big dance. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, honey, you look gorgeous. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, I guess we better get going. Brooke, let's call the restaurant and get dinner to go. I think these two would rather have breakfast at Tiffany's. What do you say, sweetie? We'll do a rain check on this, okay? You don't want to be together? That's the whole point, silly. Come here, come here. If you come to the station with me tonight, I'll let you use my makeup for a month. Tyler, hurry up. I'm coming. That beeper really doesn't go with that tie and jacket. Yeah, I know, but I have to wear it. I'm on call. Come on, Rick Stage's band's playing. As if we're gonna miss anything. Rick Stage wouldn't know good music if he swallowed a limp biscuit. That must be Katie and Jamie. They said they were gonna do something funny tonight. Actually, they're dressing up like a football player and a cheerleader. That's not funny. Yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting for you right up here. You know? Go, go, go. Well, that was rude, dude. Yeah, I know. But if you think that truck is off, wait till you see Melanie's dress. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang! She's pretty fly for oh, my god. <laughs> Tyler? <laughs> Your friends are weird. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, wow. Ta-da! What famous person do I look like? Um, human or cartoon? <laughs> How do people get moles? Mr. Trackley, what are you doing here? <sighs> you just had to see how your little boy did it, didn't you? Hey, T, oh. where's Miss Thing? Well, she dumped me for the band guy. Don't worry, it won't last. Her hairdo can't survive moshing. <laughs> Hank, you danced with everything in a dress, including that freak Jamie, except me. You know, just because a person's a little different. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I just promised dances to some of my friends. We'll go back in a few minutes. Oh, no, you don't. If you think I'm a nerd, and you're the only person standing here who does. At least I know how to say no nicely if someone asks me to a dance and I don't want to go with them. In fact, I'm doing that right now. No, thank you, Hank. I do not want to go back to that dance with you. But Melanie, wait. I'm sorry. You're right, I've been a total jerk. You've been pretty cool. I mean, it takes a pretty solid woman to drive a toilet. Boy, that didn't even come out right. Uh, I hope we can still be friends. Just don't ever dance near me. Because you're really a terrible dancer. Man. Come on, guys, let's hit it. Oh, why me? Why, why? Oh, there. He hello? Hi. Hi, oh, he's not breathing. I heard a thought. He was just lying okay, there. Yeah, what? Oh, step aside. 
Mr. Simpson, can you hear me? Unresponsive, potential spine injury. Oh. I'll stabilize him, Jamie, assess breathing. Oh, oh for you! What? She's trying to kill me! Arrest her! Oh, he can breathe. Uh. The wind knocked out of him. He is just faking dead to punish me, because I told him to fix the satellite dish right. Don't move, Mr. Simpson. My name is Hank from Kingsport EMS. Uh. Jamie, I need a caller, Tyler, backboard. Respiration 16 and deep. I meant call a repairman. Now, look, look. Will you look at what Jack B. Nimble did to my roses? I can't even stand it. Oh. BP's 120 over 80, pulse is 80 and regular. I'm checking for fractures. You're nagging. How do you know I didn't jump on purpose? How did you know? How happy that would make me, dear. We want to move you now, Mr. Simpson. On the count of three. Huh? One, two, what? three. Oh, hey, don't, don't bleed on my flagstone. Oh, the agony. OK. This is good. It's good. Hold on. OK. Oh. OK. You're coming? Um, of course I'm coming. Where you go, I go. We've, we've been together since high school, you know. Aww. If you ever die, I will kill you. Come on. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh simmer down now. It doesn't hurt. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. So we're still friends, right? I mean, we shouldn't let something as ridiculous as a school dance come between us. Definitely not. Truce? Absolutely. Just don't bleed on my flagstone. <laughs> no, man, you cannot wear your jumpsuit home. Your real pal, Hank. Pal? Yes, Jamie, you can wear my cheerleading uniform, but I've got two words for you. Dry, clean, OK? <laughs> Guess I'll be doing the paperwork alone. I'll stay and help you. Jamie, get your dress on. This bus is leaving. Hey. Hey, skate queen. Breakfast at Tiffany's. I love this movie. Me too. Jamie's not working today. It's just us. <sighs> okay, I left civilization and ate my dust quota for the year, and he's not here. Fine. Okay, what do I look like? Freak. Dunce. I'm a witch that lost part of her hat. <laughs> I'm a snow cone. Okay, but it's upside down. What would you guys know? It's a marketing gimmick, an attention grabber? <laughs> Hello? Well, you'll definitely be grabbing attention. That's <laughs> uh, Are you maniacs trying to run me over? Whoa, dude. Just me. Well, weights racing? No way. <laughs> Jim, I thought you gave up this racing insanity centuries ago. <laughs> you can't escape desire, dude. But it's really dangerous. I mean, look, they have emergency medical people standing by to pick up pieces, you know? <laughs> you are the cheese, Katie. <laughs> Did he just call me cheese? Yeah. yeah. The four and four, it's not usually such a big deal. There's a lot of big names here today, i.e. Bobby Simmers, AKA the bullet. The bullet? Dudes, I am totally stoked for a win. Um, dude, what have you done with Jamie? That's the bullet. Yeah, well, uh, that's a heck of a bullet. I'll say. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> okay, guys, we have, we have work to do. Let's go. Uh, right. Uh, right. <laughs> 
Hey, Jamie, just promise me I'll be careful, okay? It's only for emergencies, right? Yeah, but uh, I was just making sure it was all gassed up and ready to go. It's ready. Hi, Jamie. It's been a while. Not my fault. Hey, you're the one that stopped racing. It wasn't because we broke up, was it? Now, whatever gave you that idea? OK, everyone, listen up. Four heats. <laughs> Top rider from each heat races tomorrow. It's your five-minute warning. You know, I took a little time off. Now I'm back. I'm better than ever. Yeah, well, not as good as I am. See ya. Come on, guys, let's move it along. This, this ought to do the trick. Uh, uh, better? <laughs> AMS, please report to the official stand. That's AMS. Okay, I'll finish up here. All right, I'm driving. Kidding. It's genuine fruit syrup. Ooh, genuine fruit syrup. Listen, it's for a good cause. I just saw your good cause treat a kid who cooked her tongue on a hot dog. Ooh, some emergency. Oh, hey, listen, freeze brain. If you don't want a sugar buzz, then why not just move it along for someone who does? How about no? Nice hat. Thanks, Thanks Katie. So did Jamie win? Uh, it's still going on. I just needed to put you there. So, uh, what's the deal? Do uh, volunteers get free snow cones? Half price, but, uh, you gotta wear the cap. Fundraising policy. Really, really good friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, you? Uh, we used to go out. Oh, yeah, you and Jamie? Yeah, I met him at the 4 on 4 a couple of years ago. He tried to beat me to a bag of Doritos and we butted heads. I guess we did that a lot. <laughs> Probably why it didn't last. <laughs> so he never said anything about me? No, not a word. Concentration's off. Yeah. 
barely. I knew you would. If you haven't seen any other racers around, have you? Like uh, Mike or, or Bobby? Nope, haven't seen her. Come on, uh, let me buy you a victory snow coat. Katie, I don't need to <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, you didn't. Uh, Bobby, Katie, Katie. Yeah, we Bobby. met. No, the wicked race. I'm just for you. What for? It's a consolation prize. For tomorrow. When I leave you in the dust. Here. up front. Hey, Brooke, how about my free snow cone for good luck? Free? You don't have a snow cone's chance in. Hey, this is not just ice. It is carefully shaped and imported Hawaiian ice, which is what defines its delicate texture. All right, all right, you got me. Hey, man, first aid kit. Yeah, based on yesterday's fun in the sun, uh, I don't want to take any chances. Dude, that's another two pounds. Like, I can't do it. Dude, <laughs> could save your life. Have a good race, man. Fine. So, uh, what's the deal with you and Biker Babe? What's her name? The Barracuda? Katie. Sorry, sorry, the bullet? Just old rivals. <laughs> Come on, she ripped your heart in two. It wasn't a rip, it was a small tear. And I'm over it. That's why you turn to Jello whenever she's around? I don't turn to Jello. Look, all I'm saying is be careful, okay? You could get hurt. That girl is dangerous. And I don't just mean on a motorcycle. I think you're jealous. Of uh, what? Of me having another female friend. Ugh, please. You know, if, if you can't see the forest for the for the trees or the trees for the forest or whatever that expression is, even when like your best friends are telling you that the, there's a, a, a forest and, and there's a tree. I have and, no and, idea what you're talking about. Look, just be careful, okay? Is that too much to ask? Don't worry, I'll be fine. All right, riders, everybody to the starting line. Riders to the starting line. Can I see your grandmother riding that thing around town? <laughs> you never could trash talk. Riders, please take your starting positions.
same time, would you please report to the official stand immediately? Jamie, wait! Sorry, miss. Gotta shut down. Still no sign of him? Nothing. <sighs> Still has his phone turned off. Well, he could be sulking. Oh, anybody seen the bullet? No, why? I just don't think either of them would settle for a tie, especially a second place tie. <laughs> Roger match. Okay, let's take the ATV and go look for him. I'll no, drive. No, no. Hank, it's a rescue vehicle. They may need rescue. Yeah, but we don't know where they are. Down and over. First one to the top of the other side wins. It's not too late to back down. Piece of cake. On my count. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Jay. Checking your pulse. I'm a trained EMT. Get a little cut there. Just gonna clean it. EMT. <laughs> I know you'd be some big medical guy. I would have thought twice. <laughs> for what? For dumping me? It's safer than waiting for you to dump me. Besides, I got over it eons ago. Of course you did. Me too. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. Ow! Oh! Lie down, lie down, lie down. It's my leg. Ow! Your leg is fractured. Hold still, okay? I got a call for help. Hold still. Hank! Jamie! Yo, where the heck have you been? Bobby fractured her femur. I can't move her. Okay, she's, uh, she's fully alert. Uh, there's no head trauma. There's a cut on her chin, it's not bad. Bobby's got a busted femur and he needs help getting her out. Look, um, we just lost the ATV, um. Oh, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll call you in a chopper. Where are you? Bobby, where are we? I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. Look, I, I, I think that I can retrace our tracks and, and go for help. I'm gonna give Bobby the phone. Now keep talking to her so she doesn't get scared. Uh, who's today about being scared? That's where Hank's been. I gotta go get help. Just hold on. Okay? Don't move. Yeah, so this guy has a banana in his right ear and a carrot in his left. What's the matter with me? He asked the doctor. Well, the doctor says, you ain't eating properly. <laughs> you get it? It was a joke. She doesn't get it. Yeah, maybe if you told a funny one, she would. It's battle for 911. Let's go. Katie, keep talking to me. What? No, that's your thing. Katie, Katie, I... all you have to do is talk. <sighs> Katie I... wants to talk to you. Talk, 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 talk. Um, hi, Bobby. Um. Want to hear some good dirt on Jamie? Heat stroke. Baby's still coming down. Okay, we gotta transport him. <sighs> Where am I? So Jamie takes this lady's dead dog and he starts giving it mouth to mouth. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Is that crazy? <laughs> 
Hello? Bobby? See? I'm not the only one with bad jokes. No, seriously, she was laughing one mm -hmm. second ago. Yeah. Bobby? Hello? Hello? I'm serious, she's not there. She's not answering. Bobby? Bobby? Apologize, I got us into this mess. I wasn't much help. Hey, Jamie Waite saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're something else. <laughs> but I mean it. When we were going out, I was I was always competing with you, and I never told you how awesome I think you are. I'm just, I'm just glad you're okay. Hey, KT. Pretty rad rescue. Yeah, pretty rad. Look, Katie, I am not really sure about all your advice with the force of the tree, but uh, I, kn I know that I should have listened to you. I'm sorry. Do you know what the so-called sport does to the environment? All right, I'll make you a deal. We will plant one tree for every race that I win. Well, by the time you get around to winning, there'll be no forest. Uh, funny. Hey, hey, that's Hawaiian ice, people. Hold on a minute, okay? Whoa! 
Just relax and breathe. Try to breathe normal, you'll be fine. Guys, that lady says a little kid's in there. Oh no. What do we do? Fire department's on its way. What if they get here too late? Too dangerous. Hey, we have a lot of injured people out here and we don't have fire rescue training. We need your help. Casey! So is she. Casey! Casey! Don't worry, everybody! Casey! Come on! Casey! Not me. Come on, buddy. It's time to go. Your mom's all worried about you. could have been seriously injured or worse. Yeah, but I wasn't. And I'm glad, but you're missing the point. By violating procedure, you put yourself and the little boy in jeopardy. Just leave the heroism to the professional. And what if the professionals get there too late now? Look, it was a very brave thing you did, Jamie. I know that. But we have these rules because they work. You can't just improvise. The stakes are too high. Hey, what's going on? Well, Jamie's getting scolded again. Look, Tyler, I am not scolding anybody. I just want you all to understand the possible consequences of dying. What's wrong, Alex? <laughs> Jamie made the front page. What? The front page? What's the first? I'm not even being accused of anything. Look, front page or not, no more breaking the rules. Yeah, hey, I was reading that. Well, I guess we're done here. Hey, Jamie, where are you going? Get more papers. What the? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Kitty, you are the saddest looking little thing. Where on earth did you come from? Oh. Alex, there's something I have to show you. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. What is that, a rat? No, it's, it's not a rat. It's a dog. I found him outside. Isn't he cute? No, that, that thing is filthy and he doesn't have any tags. You gotta get him to the pound. Well, what if he belongs to someone? <sighs> That's unlikely. If you're worried, put it out in the paper. Just, just get him out of here. I mean, the paper. Ugh, isn't it creepy to have everyone, like, looking at you like that? So I don't mind it so much. Jamie, you are such a celebrity now. Like, the Keanu Reeves of Kingsport. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was just doing my job, no. Wow, the humble hero. 
Wait, that's the perfect title. Title? I just got approved to do an article on you for the school paper. Front page. Can you believe it? I'm doing a front page story. Oh. <laughs> no, look, it's too weird. I, I just prefer to let it die. Thanks, but no offense. 1984. Jamie Waite, winner of Kingsport's most adorable baby contest. I do my research. You should see the pictures, especially the one with you with the long curly hair. <laughs> you don't know how long it took me to live that down. It was a nightmare. You can't tell anyone. I don't see how it could come up, as long as I get my front page story on the humble hero. Fine. Just not one mention. No one will ever know. This is going to be so cool. <laughs> if you read a word of this, you are history. Hi, hero. Hi. I just got tickets to the Rage in a Bottle concert, and I was wondering if you'd like to maybe go with me. Rage in a Bottle? Sure. OK, I'll uh, catch you later, baby. Hey, what's up? Melanie Chan is doing this article on Jamie for the school paper, so uh, he's all. Anna. Just Jamie. You know what? Don't blow brains all over this. Really, like, who cares about this stuff? You know what, guys? Katie's totally right. This is great publicity for the program, and everything else is really just irrelevant. I entered the building and looking around frantically for the boy. I, I, I knew, I knew that somehow something was not going to let me miss him. No Birth of a media monster. Now, I've got to hide you before Mom and Dad get home. But, Jasper, you are going to look like a brand new dog. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. Too much. Better? OK, you're cooking dinner. Girls. Anyone home? Val's out. It's, it's just me, all alone. Now I've got to wipe up the floor. Whatever you do, don't move. What? Oh, you, you startled me. Hi, Mom. What are you up to? Just uh, washing the bathroom floor. Why do you think I'm up to something? <laughs> because you're washing the bathroom floor. And your left eye twitches when you're up to something. No, it doesn't. Aha! Spill it. Mom, can we get a dog? Honey, you know we can't. Your father's allergic. Do you have a dog in this room? No. But. If I did, it would only be temporary. Please, Mom, don't make me take him to the pound. I'll find a home for him as soon as possible, I promise. Honey, how many times do we have to have this conversation? Oh, this isn't the same, Mom. <laughs> Steve, is everything OK out there? There's some kind of mutant squirrel in the house. <laughs> uh, get out of here, you mangy <laughs> mom. No, Dad! There. He's gone. Jasper! Come here, boy! Jasper! She named a squirrel. You could have been burned alive. I guess so. But your care and concern for the preservation of human life took control, and you rushed into that burning blaze with no thought for your own safety. Your only goal, to save the life of that poor, defenseless child. I guess you could put it that way. <laughs> Hey, Superboy, <clears throat> we've got a lot of work to do here, man. Yeah, the inventory doesn't check itself. What's your problem? I didn't ask her to interview me. And you didn't turn her down either. Guys, electric shock, no pulse, 1220 Calvin Street, they're doing CPR now. Come on. This will be great for the story. I'm sorry. No ride along. Please, you've got to save her. We're doing the best we can. She's in good hands. We had no idea the court was afraid, so 
when she went to pull it out of the water. We, I can't believe her heart stopped. Please let her be okay. One, Please let her and be two, okay. and three, and four, and five. We've got Ethan. Clear. Donna? She's back. Well, we're gonna have to move her nice and easy, but she'll be fine. Love a happy ending. Good job. Thanks, man. Hey, that's what it's all about, no? Wait, you're the guy who saved that boy from the fire. He's right. You're a real hero. Now you saved Donna, too. No big thing. Anytime. Thank you. Yeah, if it's no big thing, how come it's taking all the credit? <laughs> A minute. Make that two. Kathy told me how Donna Casales got an electric shock and her heart stopped and she almost died. Well... Their neighbor is a city councilman and he heard all about it. So they're planning a ceremony with a medal, everything. You mean a, like a real medal? Like... So, obviously, I need your comments. Yeah, yeah, what do, you, what do you need to know? What's it like to work with a real-life hero, like Jamie? Jamie. They're really gonna give you a medal? Yeah, well, when the mayor called, I told her it wasn't necessary, oh, the but mayor. she insisted. She <laughs> thought it'd be good publicity for the EMS program. What's it like to actually save a life? I mean, like, how does it feel? Well, it feels good. I'm just glad I was there to help. Ugh. Well, I really didn't Look at expect him. this he's, to happen. He's impossible. Give you a medal? Oh, he's just enjoying his 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> okay, then, um, wake me in 15. <laughs> Don't you just think that Jamie is so cute? Oh, yeah, he's adorable. Like a baby. Like the most adorable little baby there ever was. <laughs> what is that all about? Oh, our uh, macho hero has cutesy boots of past. Hey, Brooke, where's that stray that you've been looking after? Jasper. He got loose and ran away. Why? Well, he fits the description of a dog that bit a little boy a couple of blocks from here. It wasn't Jasper. He wouldn't do that. Yeah, well, I don't think there's two dogs out there that look like Jasper, Brooke. Guys, I want you to pass these out around the neighborhood. If we don't find that dog, that little boy's gonna have to start rabies treatment. That's rough, man. All those shots. And if you do find a dog, don't try to grab him. Just, just call animal control. Hey, why am I being saddled with this? I'm not a dog catcher. It might gives me the creeps. Rabies can be fatal, Mr. Waite. Or maybe you've met your quota for helping people this week. No. Then good luck. Be careful. I guess taking all the credit really poops you out. Yep, he's sleeping like a baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like an adorable little baby. What's with the smile? I have to tell you guys something. It doesn't mean he didn't bite that little boy. We still have to bring him in. <laughs> if Jasper were a person, he'd at least have a fair trial first. Yeah, but I don't think there's such thing as a doggy court. <laughs> Rook. Rook.
So what do we do now? Cheer up, Brooke. Jasper's in the clear. Really? The other dog turned up late last night. He had all his shots up today, so the little boy's gonna be just fine. Oh. <laughs> Who'd have thought there'd be two like him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> But you still can't keep him here. Okay, can we uh, kick this up a notch here, please? We're gonna miss the movie. Yeah, I'm busy right now, just to cat. Yeah, and maybe you ought to deflate that giant ego you've sprouted. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Nobody's claimed him yet. You know, maybe it's just me, but I wouldn't have put his picture in the ad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, lay off the dog. It's not funny. Alex won't let me keep him here, and I can't find anybody who will take him. What's that rabid mongrel doing here? Jasper is not rabid. That's true. They found the other dog. Jasper is in the clear. Does Jamie know about this yet? I don't think so. Why? Want to see a hero jump? Self esteem and what is seen on your TV screen. I was cool, but it's fame that I mean for. Let the green go and keep it on the low low. And I know I had to get my lumps and my humps up. I'm living life without a boss, never thought of a cause. Oh. All I knew was how to hold. Rabbit dog, rabbit dog! Okay, stay back. You got the shot. Yeah, don't worry, I got it. <gasps> Are you all right, man? Jamie, I'm so sorry. This was, it was just a joke. This was not what? supposed to happen. A joke? What is it with you guys? What have I ever done to you? We're sorry, we really are. It's just, you know, it's kind of hard watching you get all the credit for stuff we've done. Hey, you know, we're supposed to be a team, man. Maybe you've forgotten. I was the one who ran into that building. I saved that kid. Yeah, maybe you've forgotten that it was us who treated him for smoke inhalation. And the paramedics who took him to the hospital so we could be treated by doctors and nurses. Yeah, not to mention the firemen who risked their lives to put out the fire. Hey, look, we're not trying to gang up on you, man. We're just, I don't know, we're trying to show you that we know what you did was great, but it was still a team effort. Hey, look, all they're trying to say is just stop being such a jerk. This is better than a soap opera. And so we are all very proud of Jamie Waite. Not only for his selfless acts of courage, but for his continuing service to our city. Thank you. But I don't deserve this. I mean, what I mean to say is that I'm not the only one who deserves this. Can you come up here, guys? Stop over there. We're a team. All of our names should be on this medal. Tyler Connell, Hank Beecham, and Val Lanier. Smile, Does my nose really look like that? What are you talking about? You look great. What's up with me, though? I look like a grinning idiot. <laughs> I think I'm looking pretty good. Nah, real good. <laughs> don't let it go to your head. You'll end up with your picture on a wall like me. Brooke, <laughs> <True. laughs> this is absolutely the last day that he can stay here. We have got to find him a home. Well, I think he wants to stay with you. Oh, he definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. Kingsport oh. superhero Jamie Waite has risked his life once again, this time to save a panicky lab animal from a speeding car. 
Well, here we go again. It's great. This thing never ends. Great. Not my fault. He's not a lab animal. He's a dog, an adorable dog. <laughs> 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 You're blowing home, Mac. You could burn water. I, I ruined my main course. I even messed up the salad. No, I've got to come up with killer dessert to save my grade. You, you, you could help me. You know, I, I don't think so. Yeah, Katie, you're an incredible cook. You see, teaching you to cook would be a full-time job, and I kind of have a life. Come so. on, just work with me this one weekend, and I promise I'll keep your closet chef thing a secret. Okay, well, what, what do you have in mind? Well, what's the most awesome dessert you've ever made? Uh, croque and bouche. But forget that. It's way too hard. The recipe requires a psychological background check. Oh, no, no, that's perfect. I, I have to square big. I need this grade. Please? Please? Uh, no. Please? 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 Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. How do you mess up a salad? Um... You sure you know what you're doing there? Well, it's a thing that washes cars. I mean, how hard can it be? It's gonna cut our scrub time in half. Well, did you read the instructions? Like I need to. Uh, what is this? Hey, guys. Listen up. We're gonna have a visitor this weekend. An actor will be doing ride-alongs to research a role in his next movie. Anybody famous? Galileo Tennyson. No, no way. Oh, they're coming here. Yeah. But the best part is, in exchange for our cooperation, the movie studio is going to give us a brand new semi-automatic defibrillator. How cool is that? Yeah, our defibrillator is like from the Jurassic. <laughs> OK, I think Galileo Tennyson is like my favorite actor. No, 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 Brooke, he's not an actor. He's like one of the biggest movie stars in the world. Oh, oh, oh. he was so cool in Outworld. Oh. And, and remember, remember wherever, wherever you go, go I'm, I'm right, right behind, behind you. <laughs> nice guys, come on, get over yourselves. He's just a guy who wears makeup for a living. I'm so read the instructions, man. Hey guys, 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 guys. He's here. Yeah, we just pulled up and it's looking good. There's no crowd so far. I don't see any bank oh. Uh I don't know. I don't know about that. Just to let you know. Wow. You are so you. Place and so far, so good. Mr. Tennyson, welcome to Kingsport EMS. Thanks, man. Happy to be here. Isn't that great? He's happy to be here. I'm in trouble with the host. Yeah, so I see. No, no, no. It's not a good nice time. To it's very busy. <laughs> it's it's no, me, me, me. too nice. You. you. Mr. Tennyson, I'm broken. I love your movies. <laughs> you too. Thanks. Yes, yes, that's nice. Thank you, people. <laughs> You're dripping on Mr. Tennyson. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much the whole place. If you guys have any questions, um, don't hesitate to call me, all right? Thanks, Alex. That's all been very helpful. Uh, you uh, take that office. You take that one. You go down the hall. Uh, hold on, hold on. This is a working EMS station. We don't have the space for Mr. Tennyson's uh, entourage. <laughs> 
But you've got to. He needs people. But we use these offices. No, 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 Mink, 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 Mink. Who, who's gonna screen my phone calls, man? Who's gonna keep my schedule straight? Um, I can help with that. I do scheduling here at the station all the time. Hey, it might work. I don't think so. GT, come on, give it a try. I'll make it work. All right. Yeah. It's your nutritionist. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Cristal, listen, baby, we've got to uh, remix my herbal supplement. Believe it or not, my earwax is starting to look a little dull. Oh, even his earwax is special. Where can we put Mr. Tennyson's things? Uh, right over there. Taylor. Tyler. Uh, yeah. You seem to be the brightest bulb in the group here, so I'm sure I don't need to tell you that a star as big as Galileo needs someone to look out for. Him. Well, what can I do? The press. They're always trying to make celebrities look bad. Now, my job is to make our boy look good. So, if you could make sure that nothing happens to make him mad, then he won't do anything bad, and we can keep a positive spin on things. I still don't really know what you want. Uh, okay. You guys need that heart zapper thing, right? Yeah. And Galileo needs some good publicity. So, no mess ups or foul ups. You help him, I help you. Just win now. Okay, but what do you yeah, want me to... you'll be fine. He's a great guy. Sweet, really. Me? Where's my suit, man? Where's his suit? Where's his suit? Get it, now! Uh, coming, G! Just, um, keep our little talk between us. Huh? Okay, here's your suit. Your stuff's out there. I'll fax the kid your schedule, and I'm only a phone call away. Ciao. Yeah. <laughs> Wire hangers. How many times do I have to tell them, no wire hangers? <laughs> what can I change? Oh, um, right over there, Mr. Tennyson. Huh? Thanks, and, uh, call it to you. Okay. Gee. Hey, anybody still uh, call you for breakfast? Okay, you know what? Don't ever call me that again, okay? Freckles was a character I played a long time ago, and as far as I'm concerned, he's dead. Certainly isn't dead on those Saturday morning reruns. Hi, Daddy, I'm home, and it's a wonderful uh, day. Uh, maybe he just wants us to forget that he was a goofball now that he's, you know, a big movie star. I heard he beat up a photographer once just for calling him Freckles. Jamie, you can't believe everything you read in the tabloids. Listen, guys, Freckles was great. I mean, we all used to love him in time out for family, but I think G's a little touchy about it, so let's not bring it up again. Wow. Yeah, this is my uh, costume for the movie. I just thought I'd live in it a bit. Make it mine, you know what I'm talking about? You know, for what we do, it's not really that practical to wear white. Yeah, but uh, I'm the good guy. Right, how come you guys don't have one of those poles you slide down? Well, mostly because we're on the ground floor. Ground floor, right. Check. Right. Come on, I'll show you the drill. Okay. Where do I get a pair of those rubber gloves? Don't need gloves, you're here to observe. Excuse me, ma'am, my name is Hank. I'm with emergency medical services. Oh, I don't know what happened. Did you lose consciousness I at all? I don't know. The light was green, and I went, and boom. <laughs> Gee, the bag. Right, bag coming in. Stat! Don't worry. You'll be fine. Try not to move your arm, OK? It looks like we've got a broken collarbone here. Get any extra gloves? What? Gloves. No. Jamie, I need the saline! Stat! Get him right up! Bingo. This is much better. You guys, uh, you have anything else I can wear? Yeah, here, hold this and don't move. Got it, Chief. I'll get a stand. Yeah, yeah. Let him hold it. It'll keep him out of the way. Yeah. Good thing I found these gloves. Uh, I thought G did pretty good for his first call. Yeah, he makes a pretty good ID stand. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
What, did you cut yourself? Oh, man. I spilled the iodine. Look at me. Look at me. I can't go out like this. All extra suits at the station. We have. I, I go by now. Katie, it's so embarrassing whenever I'm around him, my brain short circuits, and I start talking like Dr. Seuss. Oh, please let this badge turn out. Fourth time's the charm. Hey, look, these rock. Hey, congrats. Okay, now you gotta fill them. Oh. Uh, no, uh, Val, that's for school pranks, not fine desserts. Well, I don't know how to make whipped cream. No, you need pastry cream, okay? You start with eggs and scalded milk. Oh, and if I can burn water, I can probably scald milk, right? Okay, everybody, gather around the ambulance, please. Let's it quick, 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 quick. Okay. You're a superstar. Thanks, Mick. Okay, everybody, look here. Big smile. Okay, that's it. Everybody out, except... Uh, you, young lady. You're a superstar. Yeah, yeah, quick, quick, quick. Uh, Brooke. Did you get my Andy's water? Still held up in Peruvian customs, but I picked up your dry cleaning, ordered that special mud mask, and your masseuse is waiting in the back room. Just give me the water, okay? One picture? I wasn't even with Oh, that's what you get for trying to snake the inside position. Why do you even care? He's just a guy. What's he got that we haven't got? Everything. Really beautiful eyes. I didn't notice that. <laughs> no, no, don't look away from me. I'll look at my eyes. Thank you. Go. We done here? Hey. More news on G's PR screw up. I streamed a video from his pirate website. Check this out. Oh, that's some temper. Did he just shove that photographer into the ice machine? Oh, man, see what happened to his face? All the guy did was call G Freckles. What happened here? I don't see any cars or anything. Maybe it was a fight. Be on the lookout for weapons. Sir, please tell us what happened here. Sir, you gotta let me help you. Jamie, I need to irrigate. Get me some sailors. Come on. Gee, you're not authorized to handle that. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to help. There's no wound here. This guy's clean, too. Come on, let's get out of here. We got a great shot. It's going to work really well. Was this a setup? Okay, guys, this negative energy is making me feel tense. Faking a 911 call makes me tense. It's against the law, you know? Not only did we waste the materials, we also wasted our time and wear and tear in the ambulance. But the biggest reason why it's a crime is that it stops us from responding to a real emergency. Okay, someone's life could have been in danger. But luckily, we didn't get any calls while we were gone. I'm telling you guys, I didn't know it was a setup. You sure reacted faster to the fake call. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, G, calm down. It's not like we don't believe you, it just looks bad. I'm telling you, I didn't do this. And if you believe that, why do you have to be such a jerk about this? Hey, I'm not being a jerk, I'm just sick of babysitting one. I'm with Jamie on this one. And I am this close to asking Alex to cancel this whole thing. No, 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 we, we don't have to go that far. I mean, he's doing the best he can. Why do you always jump to defend him? I am not defending him, I'm trying to keep the peace. Well, get real, you cut the guy more slack than his mother. Okay, maybe I'm looking out for him. The PR guy, Mink, asked me to. You know how much we need that new defib unit. He made it sound like we could lose it if I don't cover for G. Don't you get it? G messed up big time when he showed that photographer, and now Mink wants you to make sure that he's gonna get good press whether he deserves it or not. Now I feel like a real jerk. You know, maybe we should talk to Allison. It's not worth having this guy around. Even if I make an appearance at your next fundraiser? We've got to start shipping behind us. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Listen, uh, my guys did set up the phony call. They admitted it, but I didn't know anything about it, and they didn't know how wrong it was. Right. Which is why I'm going to do a PSA on the dangers of false alarms. Now, you're not really going to turn us in, are you? Well, with no ID on the fake victims, there's no report. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's great. Cool. It's okay for your trial run? Trial run? No, no. I was going to take this to school with me on Monday. On... By Monday, it's going to be a giant puddle. Look, it's already a soggy mess. Look. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to, um, crunch in your mouth. You know, that's... That's why they call it croquembouche. That's what the name means. Ugh. I am so totally and hopelessly no good at this. I give up. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh I'm... I'm sorry. It's good pastry cream. Yeah? Katie, I'm uh, Val's best friend. Um, okay, uh, nice to meet you. So that's mm. eight o'clock sharp. Thank you so much. Get Flo running here to fix my hair, please. This is a disaster. Will do. And by the way, your fancy water just came. Finally. And I got you a table at Alpha Shen for tonight. Plus, your dry cleaning is ready. Your juicer has been repaired, and your assistant called to see if you need any more Serenity Potpourri. What's this? Did you call this in? Um, yeah, just like you asked Yeah, me. these are plastic bottles. I drink from glass. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, 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 what is wrong with you? I mean, what kind of dimwit orders plastic bottles? I give you the simplest thing to do, and you screw it up. Yeah, thanks for nothing, Blair. Hey, it's Brooke, OK? Her name is Brooke, you total jerk. How dare you treat her like that? Go, Val. She's 12. 12. OK, and she doesn't work for you. She's doing you all these favors because she's such a big fan. Are you really, are you that full of yourself that you can't see that? Gee, you stay here. If I need an IV stand, I'll let you know. What happened here? We were playing, crawling through the pipe. When water started pouring in, Sean is still in there. Hey guys, can we get you rid of them? Thanks. Sean? Sean, are you okay? Yeah. Come on out, Sean. I can't. I'm scared. All right, then hold on and, and we'll come get you. Val, we don't do rescues. Tyler, get on the radio and call the fire department. There's no time. You see how fast the water's coming in? Almost, I can squeeze right through the bars. Val, Val, no, no, you'll get stuck. No. OK, Sean, we can't come to you. You're going to have to come to us. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm getting cold. Oh, guys, the water is getting deeper. We've got to do something. Hey, is that freckles? It's freckles. Hey, freckles. I watch you every Saturday. Freckles over here. Freckles. Hey, Sean. Freckles. Yeah. For real. For real. Hey, buddy, remember this? Hey, Daddy, I'm home, and it's a wonderful day. It is you. Yeah. Now listen, Sean. You gotta come out, okay, buddy? But I'm scared. Hey, listen, Freckles was scared a lot too, but he always knew what to do. And so do you, Sean. Now come on out. That's it. That's it. You're doing great, buddy. Come on. Come on, Sean. Come on, you're doing great. Come on, buddy. Atta boy. You okay? Very good, Sean. Come on. Get a warm. Stat. <laughs> Guys, uh, thanks for putting up with me. 
I learned a lot more than I thought I would. And Brooke. I'm really sorry. You did a lot for me, and I had no right to go off on you like I did and uh, be such a total jerk. It's okay. No, it's not. How can I make it up to you? I'll think of something. Man, uh, what you did to help that kid, that was all right. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to do my best to live up to you guys. You know, I think the past few days have really changed me forever. Oh! Remember, wherever you go, I'm right behind you. <laughs> mm. Tyler, I'm sorry I jumped in your face about defending the guy. No, you were right. I guess I was a little taken in by the whole star thing. Hey, man, we all were. Not all of us. Jamie wasn't. Hard to impress. Catch you later. Hey, you, you bet the. <clears throat> A signed copy of Outworlder. Wow. Oh. Ho. Never said I didn't like his movies. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> and don't worry, no one will ever know how much you helped me. Listen, all I did was coach. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without you. Hi, Val. Hey, guys. We're gonna meet Brooke. Is it true that you got to meet Galileo Tennyson? Well, what's he like in person? Is that him? You're a superstar. Thanks for the ride, G. Anything for a friend, Brooke. What time should I pick up for lunch? 12.30. Cool, see you then. <laughs> I think I shrunk them or something. All right, let's wait. So all we know is adolescent male in some kind of car accident. The woman on the phone was so hysterical, they barely cut the address. That's your face. Is it the size of my hand? Oh, you didn't squeeze it. Now you're not supposed to squeeze them. I didn't squeeze it. I just kind of burned it with some zip cream. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, I just hope it clears up before they take my picture for the job count. Man, look, a guy calendar seems weird. I like it. And it raises money for the athletic department. Oh, I just hope I don't get February again. Holding that big pink heart kind of makes you look like a doof. Yeah, the goofy look on your face didn't help much either. <laughs> right. You think I'm letting him out in traffic? You're crazy. He couldn't pull into the garage without yeah. hitting something. I just screaming at him the whole time. I had to scream at him. Look how he drives. I have no sir. patience with him. Because he uses it all up. It's like Godzilla meets the Seven Dwarves. Uh, sir, he's too uncoordinated to drive. Because you make him nervous. It's your fault. <laughs> My fault? Yes. Sir, we've checked your son. Since there was no injury, could you please sign this? Look at this mess. Blondie boy is digging a hole for the new mailbox. Fine, I'll dig the hole. Hey, no lip, young man. Uh, sir, the report. We need you to sign Where's this. Where's he going? Where's Lonnie going? We're gonna park the car in the driveway. Are you nuts? That's how this whole thing started. No, it's your fault it started, because you make him nervous. Lonnie! You are not moving that car! Stop telling me what to do. I am moving the car! Bonnie! This could crash. Bonnie! 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 Oh, no. My baby! I'm sorry. I, I'm all right. My baby! My poor baby! What did you do to my baby? It's his fault. He made me use the wrong gear. Poor Lonnie. Wrecked both cars without ever leaving the drive. Every day the world goes by, I'm learning how to live my life. I'm waking up to what is to I'm holding on to me and you. Cause everything keeps changing, changing.
I don't get it. I washed them the same as always. Hey, Tyler. You know your pants? Yeah. They're mine. You picked up the wrong pair. <laughs> Great. I'm wearing uh, girls' pants. Hey, you shouldn't have paid attention during that special health class in eighth grade. <laughs> hey, you guys. They're posting the calendar jocks on the school website. I'm open for September. Miss September it is. <laughs> Get him! Okay, Lean Dean got February. Uh, Mike Williams got April. Oh, poor Mike. Gotta hold an umbrella and feel for rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hank, you got June. Congratulations. Oh, I got June. <laughs> June's pretty good. You know, no stupid props. <laughs> True. October, Jim Hall. November, Fred Moeller. And last but not least, for December, Richard Keith. I'm sorry. Don't be. <laughs> you know, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, uh, congratulations. I'm cool. You know, it's cool. You are many things, my friend. But right now, cool is not one of them. Oh, I don't understand. It has to be here. What? My little pink top that I always wear with these pants. <laughs> what are you so torqued up about? Mom, she's wearing my top. It was on my side of the room, finders keepers. Oh, well, Mr. Mukow was on my side of the room, so I could just twist off his little head. Mom, stop! Val, give back Mr. Mukow. Brooke, please wash and return your sister's top. What's that smell? Nothing. What? Perfume. Better not be mine. It's mine. I got it at the mall. Ah, let me see. This is... Jungle musk for all those hot, steamy nights in seventh grade. Ugh. Brooke, honey, I think maybe you need a lighter, more age-appropriate fragrance. Now, would you please take that top off before someone thinks you're Britney Spears? Thank you. Fine. Then can I go to the mall with uh, Jen and Nicole and maybe uh, get some friendship earrings? Sure, honey. I thought friendship earrings were for people who have pierced ears. Val? Nice try. Please, Mom. Honey, we've been over this. You're not getting your ears pierced till you're 16. It isn't fair. Don't even start. But, Mom! Brooke. I can't get my ears pierced. I can't wear perfume. I can't even show my belly button. I can't do anything. You've totally ruined my life. It's my job to ruin your life. Oh. Get used to it. Have a nice day. How can you say that a global community means the end of culture? Because now every place in the world has the same expensive coffee and khaki pants. It's the death of the individual. Howdy, furry ladies. Well, except maybe um, how the duty over there. <laughs> We're trying out for Romeo and Juliet in the Old West. Oh. Or uh, Shakespeare on the Cheap because the arts budget was cut. I think you look really, really cute, but what's with the Igor lock? Uh, blister from the boots, which is bad for Romeo. But, you know, Deputy Mercutio could have a lamp and he's got the big shootout. No, no. You'll get Romeo. You always get the lead. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly because there's no competition. And I like acting. It's, it's fun. Anyway, he's got to go. Yeehaw! What light through yonder window breaks, I reckon, is the east of Miss Juliet's son. Woo! Here he goes. The rootin' tootin' death of culture. 50% off on bathroom tissues. Oh, and Shakespeare said, yeehaw. Where should I put this stuff for the rummage sale? Look, you're giving away Mr. Moo Cow and your, and your mermaid doll? Um, in case you haven't noticed, I'm growing up. But you love Mr. Moo Cow. He's a toy. I'm interested in other things now, like clothes and jewelry. As in earrings? You know, Mom, in some cultures, they pierce ears when the girls are still babies. Brooke? Hello? Oh, hi, Jen. Yeah, sure. Hey. She won't budge. I... What? You're kidding! No way. Yeah? Okay. Bye. 
Oh my gosh. That was Jen. Her grandma invited us, Nicole and me and Jen, of course, to come and ride horses for 10 days. Wait, wait, wait. Ten wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What 10 days? When? Not to mention where? In Montana. Her grandma's got a ranch with horses. All we have to pay for is airline tickets and food. Brooke, honey, we can't afford an airline ticket to Montana just like that. But, Mom. Oh, Brooke, please don't whine. Please? Brooke. We're clipping coupons for toilet paper. Give it up. Give it up. You're too young. I can't do anything. I might as well stay in my room until I'm old enough to move out. Mom, if I was ever like that, I so apologize. Don't you remember? You rebelled by self-publishing a pamphlet of anguished poetry. Hey, you got something for a skin burn? I had a bad reaction to some mustache glue. Uh, hold on. I don't know. Hey, what part did you get, man? I didn't. What? During the tragic death scene, I was favoring my blistered foot, which made me spin around, I twisted my ankle, and I landed on my... You get the picture. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. Look, try this, should help. Hey, guys. We're taking some new test shots for the calendar. <laughs> So this is where you keep the vehicles? What do you call this? The garage. The garage. Oh. Can we get some shots next to the ambulance? Oh, no doubt, girl. Sure. Anything for Mr. June. Oh, Tyler, you were hysterical at the audition today. I must have laughed off a thousand calories. <laughs> well, glad my humiliation could be of some help. Hey, man. There's a party tonight at Dead Mike's. You want to come? The Shaney brothers are gonna crush soda cans with their bellies. As fun as that sounds, I think I'm gonna sit at home with a plate of my mom's oatmeal cookies and wait for my face to clear up. You know, I didn't even make backstage crew. Last year I was the lead. Yeah. Man, it happens. Yeah, not to me. All right, can we get you up there? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. A little Tarzan right. action, huh? All right, Tarzan. All right. How did I go from that to this? Hmm? Thanks so much for doing this. Hey, what are old babysitters for? But we really gotta get this done before my boss gets back. Okay. Who's first? You go first. It's okay. I get really nervous. I'll get Wizzy okay and Bing. No, I'm paying too for you. I'll go. Case. I thought you were more for you. She can keep me from going to Montana, but she can't keep me from doing this. You sure? Totally. They're not friendship bearings unless all the friends have them. So even when you're both in Montana, I'll still be connected to you by jewelry. That's so sweet. <laughs> Montana. Okay, come on, let's go. Sorry, I'm ready. Now, I want them perfectly centered and not too loud. Please, I am an earring professional. All right, we'll go on three. One, two. Oh. I can't look. Oh. I can't look. Oh. Okay, and one. Did it hurt? I can't look. Let me see. I did it. I really did it. I got pierced. Okay, feeling kind of woozy. I have to sit down. There you go, easy does it. Just put your head between your legs. It's okay. It's okay. Just give me a sec. So, what have I done? If my mom finds out, I'm toast. How could you do this? When mom finds out, you are toast. <laughs> She's not going to find out. I'll cover them with my hair until they're healed enough to take the earrings out whenever I'm home. <laughs> You'll never get away with this. <laughs> so, you won't tell? No. I'm gonna let you learn the hard way. Hey, you still got that blister. Yeah, that's my best quality. Serious case of the poor me's. Yeah, it's his first really ugly patch. It's been golden so long, being less than perfect, we would give him the bends. Tyler! Yeah. Congratulations, you've just been chosen to run the EMT recruiting booth at the high school. Oh, I, I don't. I don't. Thanks. So. It's an honor, man. You won the vote. Yeah, that was before Quasimodo and I were separated at birth. 
Look, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna sit in the middle of school and recruit volunteers when all I wanna do is put a bag over my head and hide. That's not a snake bite. Oh, what is it? It's more like a cut. I tell you, it jumped out and bit me there in the bushes. I was fetching Buttercup's doggy toy. Ma'am, there's no puncture wound. No, there's no swelling or redness. That can't be a snake bite. Well, then what was it? Well, maybe it was a pipe or a thorn or a rake or something. You may need a tetanus shot. It jumped up and bit me. Hey, are you sure it's not a snake? Yeah, pretty. Oh, what do you mean, pretty? I am telling you it's alive and it's still in there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a deadly rusted lawn hose. <laughs> Uh-oh, be careful, man. Why? It's a garden hose. Yeah, and don't touch your eye. <laughs> Why not? Because you've been crawling around a patch of poison oak. Oh, no. No, stop it. That, that's not funny. Brooke, it's OK. It's just a nightmare. Oh, man, that was so weird. These two clowns with giant bozo hair kept squeezing my ears and going honk, honk. Okay. Okay, well, it's late. Try to go back to sleep now, okay? But it was so real. My ears actually hurt. Ow! Ow. Uh-oh. Uh, how could they be infected? Because you're supposed to keep your hair away from newly pierced ears and not use it for cover. And you should have been pierced by a medical professional and had mom's permission. Well, you're not going to tell, are you? If these don't improve by tomorrow, we're going to have to. Ow. I still can't believe you actually did this. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. I was just, I don't know, so mad I couldn't go to Montana. That you went to the mall and let some stranger poke holes in your ears? OK, well, sure, it sounds stupid when you put it that way, but ow. I had to do something. Have you ever thought about Writing poetry. What? <laughs> Arr, matey. You lost your parrot. Your, uh, your pants are sticking to you kind of funny. Yeah, well, kale mine takes a little longer to dry than you might think. Tyler, what? Uh... I, I'm just here to pick up some stuff for the recruiting booth tomorrow. I thought you turned that down. Uh, well, I, I did, but I guess I was wrong, you know? These guys have been on my case, and it got me thinking, you know? I mean, just because my looks fell apart doesn't really mean I have to. You know, you can't let the way you look ruin your life, right? Well, that's true, but... Hey, besides, with this, uh, you know, the sideburn rash and the poison, you barely notice a giant pimple. This time, it's not about how you look. It's about how you're suffering. Oh, hey, hey, don't worry about that. As soon as I take my allergy meds, no more scratching. I'll be fine. I hope so. This is important. We need volunteers. I won't let you down, I promise. <laughs> What's going on? Well, Tyler's allergy medication knocked him out like a light. Now there's a game to see how many notes they can put on him without him waking up. Oh, my poor Tyler. Yeah, it's such a disgusting display of mob fascination with human suffering. OK, come on, let's get a closer look. Katie, what? Mommy, can I have more cookies? <laughs> Tyler, are you okay? No, my life is officially over. I mean, people are sending me cookies. Look at this, to Captain Calamine. Okay, uh, for sleeping ugly. Where, here's the good one. To Rip Van Dorkel. I mean, I'm a big joke. Tyler, no, you're not. These cookies are homemade. Homemade cookies? Chocolate chip? Yeah. Is there anything better? Mm -hmm. 
You only make homemade cookies for people you really, really like, even if their face isn't <laughs> covered in post-its. Right. <laughs> Try one of these. May not be the best looking. That's what's inside the camp. <laughs> okay, okay, I get the message. And I can live with looking pathetic. Okay, but, I mean, I fell asleep. I let the squad down. Actually, you didn't. You recruited the highest number of volunteers ever. <laughs> what? I guess you drew such a crowd it created awareness we'd never had before. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Well, that's, that's great. What, it's because I drew so much attention to myself? <laughs> no, it could be total pity response. <laughs> you never know. You know what, I don't care. I will take the win. Power to the pathetic. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> okay, Mom just said something about consequences, but they're mumbling so much I can't really. Okay, here she comes. So, what'd you get? <sighs> no TV and grounded until my ears heal. Whoa, whoa, for her. Oh, oh, man. Um, so, uh, can you swing them to and fro? Oh, man. Do they look as big and throbbing as they feel? Well, um, you're somewhere between, uh, Dumbo and, and Prince Charles. Oh, great. I'm grotesque. But look what your Auntie Katie brought to cheer you up. <gasps> you still have that? Cries oh. of pain? It's, um, your sister's puberty poetry. Get out! I itch from within. Oh. Nothing fits. Can't get enough chips. Is this life? Or does my soul have eczema? Oh. Uh, gee, Val, you were even crazier than I am. Oh, totally. Remember when I lived on tofu and tried to get in touch with my past lives? Yeah. Oh, okay, check this out. Deep fib my feelings. Love mommy. Oh. Hate mom. Get the paddles. Clear. I want my teddy bear. Oh, oh man. Oh, look at this one. Okay. Anger. Anger. This one's fun. I. Brooke. Brooke. What? What's wrong? I know it's stupid, but I actually kind of feel that way. And I wish I never gave away Mr. Moo Cower or my mermaid doll. Oh, Brooke. It's okay. I saved them because I knew you were going to miss them. Val, well, thanks. That, that's so great. But I don't know why I care so much. Like, what is wrong with me? You're just at that age. Yeah, where the ups and downs can give you whiplash. Mm. It's the age I was when I renounced red and started to develop my trend-setting personal style. And um, I also cried myself to sleep at night because uh, I thought my feet were too big. So. Everybody goes through this? Yeah, pretty much. Kind of just have to hang in there, try not to eat too much chocolate until you can ride it out. Or you could pour your soul into poetry. Come on, let's make fun of another one. <laughs> OK, no, no, no. That's enough this cries of pain for one. Hey, oh, come on. Oh, that, OK, come <laughs> on. Let's go back. Hey, get off. Dead man. It's, it's interesting. Death by cramming. You know they have a cure for that now. Uh, uh, it's called studying as you go along. Thank you, Doctor Uber Achiever. It's just it's not fair. If we were there five minutes sooner. Val, forget it. This had lost cause written all over it. We should just let go and move on. You know, life's too short. Hey guys, I know we're supposed to stay emotionally detached from our work, but uh. Life's too short? No, no, no. Tyler and I were talking about our sociology class. We were late, and so we got last pick on a project due Friday. Marketing and the American public. Yeah, we have to make a product out of something she assigns us and then try to sell it to the public. <laughs> Bad news, guys. City inspection next week. I called Alex, who gave me the go-ahead to make a cleaning schedule. Well, wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't Alex be in on this? He's out with a bad back. 
Oh, and just in time for a major cleanup. How can be? No, no, no. This back thing is chronic with Alex. It happens every time it rains. Should have seen him last time. Yes, master. <laughs> ah! Somebody's out there. Oh. I don't get it. He was right there. Excuse me? Mr. Revere. I'm surprised you remembered. Hey, Mr. Revere, my name is Hank. Uh, we rescued Mr. Revere from the MVA a few months ago. Didn't you have a little boy in the car with you? My son, Sam. I, I thought it was OK. Since the accident, he's been, uh, he's been real quiet. He still has nightmares, you know, about the crash. And his therapist thinks he's, he's overwhelmed. But she said uh, it might really do Sam some good if he could spend some time with you. Me? Why, why me? The only time he ever talked about the accident, he just said one word, Hank. Hank. Yes, yeah, sir. I, mean, I don't think that. You uh, see, EMTs have this rule against getting involved with people that have helped. Nothing else has worked. I've got some free time tomorrow. Yeah, say around 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock is great. Here's the address. Sam will be waiting. Thanks. Hank, shouldn't you talk to Alex about this? <laughs> Why? You know, I'll be away from the station on my own time. You know, besides, it's a good cause. You, know, you don't get in trouble for doing good. <laughs> It's late for class, we get stuck using this trash. Okay, I agree. It's not much to work with, but I don't know. That's what makes it so lame, bogus, challenging. Challenging, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. And product, uh, Ricky the stick, <laughs> the most versatile toy. You can swing him. He's a bat. You can uh, twirl him. He's a baton or a hiking stick or. Uh, a limbo pole. Or not. Ah! Well, what is it? What's wrong? Brooke, you almost scared me to death with that thing. Well, maybe, maybe if I had some help here, it wouldn't have happened. Brooke, we told you we can help you as soon as we're done our schoolwork. <sighs> Which means we'll be scrambling like always. I just wanted to get a jump on things for a change, that's all. Look, we're sorry. This is due Friday. You're gonna have to wait. <sighs> Come on, Serena. Looks like we dummies are doing the cleaning. Come on, get his crooked dress. I know this, I know this. I'll give you a hint. It doesn't have a zip code. <laughs> Funny. My history grade's reaching critical mass, and you're making jokes. You think cleaning this place all by myself is funny? Well, it's gotta be better than stuffing your brain with the Civil War for three days. Three days? Please, I mean, oh. I'm no expert on the Civil War, but give me your textbook and let me coach you. I could have you ready in half the time. Really? You do that? Why? What's in it for you? Simple. I help you study to pass your test, and you help me start cleaning to pass inspection. Deal? Deal. Sorry we couldn't go to the park. Still, going for ice cream's not such a bad fallback plan, is it? So, here your favorite flavor is Rocky Road.
Your dad says that you really haven't talked much, you know? Since the accident. Join the ranks of James Bond, Austin Powers, and, and lots of other very famous undercover agents with your very own secrets. Agent Spy Spool. Look through it for isolated surveillance. Talk through it and tell secrets that no one else can hear. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, oh, I'm so sorry. That was just, it was, that was really close. Are you okay, are you okay? What? I said, are you okay? Because when I was talking through this, you, you, <laughs> what Confederate general won his nickname for his stand at Bull Run? Bull somebody. Thomas Stonewall Jackson. It's right here. Jackson. I always forget that guy. It's like I've got a mental block against him. Well, then what you need is a way to trigger your memory. A mental block is sort of like a stone wall, right? And Stonewall was Jackson's nickname. So whenever you hit that mental block, all you need to do is Thing. Stonewall, Thomas Stonewall. Thomas Stonewall. Watch his face. <sighs> okay, bye, Alex. What is it? What's wrong? National Weather Service is advising everyone to stay off the roads. Centennial Bridge is already closed. So much for reinforcements. Yeah. And Alex wants us all to stay on duty. He's expecting lots of storm related calls. He wants me to page Hank. Yeah, don't worry, we'll fix the bridge soon. No time, just hang over to my house, okay? Okay, parents, you're A-OK. -okay. Ooh. Seemed pretty close, huh? That was funny, man. I used to be scared of storms, too. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd build forts out of whatever. You know, blanket and sheets, uh, uh, table and chairs. Empty boxes were the best, though. Then I'd just crawl inside and stay there till the storm passed. It's the only place I really felt safe. You know what I mean? Are you insane? You, you know, Sam, my, right after all that riding around, you really good east of the bathroom, huh? Just straight through there. Boy, Mr. Revere wasn't kidding. I heard more sound from a mime. I tried to take him home, but the bridge was closed. And my parents aren't home, so I couldn't take him there either. What other choice did I have? <laughs> Poor kid. Poor us if Alex hears about it. We better hope Alex never finds out. Finds out what? Something is going on around here. So what is it that you guys don't want me to find out? Well, the truth is, we have Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam and Ella reports. Salmonella. Uh, yeah, that's right. It must be from all the backed up storm drains. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, I bet we see a rise in all kinds of food poisoning. And how come you didn't want me to find this out? Because, um, uh, we know how much you love a good meal. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what brings you in on a day like this? I heard you had a bad back. It's getting worse, but I couldn't ask you guys to pull a double shift and not help. Sure, well, in your condition, you, you could do that. Oh, oh, oh. We can handle it. If the storm it. settles in, the phones are gonna be ringing off the hook. We're never gonna get away with this. He's gonna find out. I'm sure I Alex to understand if we explain. Hey, what if no, we- it's not like I planned on the bridge being closed. You know, it's really not too hard it's to rocks. just- rocks. You guys lied to Alex. Quiet! Look, it's simple. Hank will watch Sam while the rest of us keep doing whatever we're doing. If Alex comes around, Hank will pass Sam to whoever's open till Alex is gone. If there's a call, I'll watch Sam till you guys are back. We clear? Yeah. Good, now let's get busy. Come on, Jamie, back to the trenches. Hey, we've got to come up with a product soon. Have you given any thought to my Danny Dustcloth idea? I've come up with a prototype. See, it's Danny Dustcloth, the dashing new way to get rid of dust and, and grime. What are you doing? Well, I still think my werewolf wipe has brought a repute. Werewolf wipe? Werewolf wipe? Ah, werewolf wipe. No, it's too many W's. Would you give me a hand? I dropped an aspirin and I can't find it. Sure, sure. No, 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 no problem.
It's, uh, it's around here someplace. Mm, okay. I think it rolled under the desk. Oh. You know, Sam, the truth is that we're both on the run. You from Alex and me from Attila the Tudor. Jamie? Jamie, are you in here? Thanks, buddy. I owe you. She's killing me with all of her trigger words in her memory system. You know, the funny thing is, is that I actually know most of this war stuff. It's just every time I sit down to take a history test, I freeze up. It's weird, huh? You think it's nerves? No? I mean, you gotta admit, it's ironic, though. I mean, my big brother Peter, Peter the Perfect, he actually aced history. I can't even make it through a test. It's like I know I'm doomed from the beginning. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I can't finish a test. I quit before I even start. Yeah, Alex, please don't go to the storage closet in the garage. Why are you shouting? I'm right here. Because I don't think you should be looking through old files in your condition. Uh, I hurt my back, not my brain. Yeah, but uh, you shouldn't push. Where's Sam? Thanks, Jamie. I, I got him now. Yeah, no sweat, man. He's a deep little dude. Hey, Hank, uh, is that you? Alex, uh, uh, the aspirin help? No, my back is killing me. I can't even straighten up. Should it, shouldn't you be resting? Yeah, it's funny. The phone's been really quiet. And this guy named Revere calls on a cellular. Broke up really quick, but he says he got your message, and he's sure that Sam is in good hands. Do you have any idea what he might have meant by that? These hands are empty. I must have some kind of a crank. Hey, Hank, is that, is that Tyler with you? Uh, y yeah, who else? Good, I need you guys to come in here and give me a hand moving something, okay? Uh huh? Can't seem to make this file cabinet look where it is. <clears throat> okay, so. Okay, have a seat, Sam. You hungry? Want something to drink? No? Oh, yeah, Tyler and I are working on a project. We have to make something out of that, something somebody might want to buy. Um, for instance, Ricky the Stick, the world's most versatile toy. Um, you can swing him, he's a bat, um, twirl him, he's a baton or a hiking stick or a limbo bar. What, what, do, you, what do you think? Yeah, me too. But some of Tyler's other ideas, they're worse. But the thing is, I really, I like him. I mean, you know, as, as a friend. So I don't want to hurt his feelings, but I don't want a bad grade either. So what do I do? Do I keep quiet so we can stay friends, or do I tell him the truth? Val, heads up. Alex's back is making him nuts. Hank's in there pulling files right now. He sent me out here to get your response log. Don't worry, I'll uh, take care of Sam till Hank's free. Val, where's the logbook? I'm coming. So, did I'll tell you about our product? Yeah. What we really need is a good product, you know? Uh, like this super cool secret agent spy tool. You know, you look through it, it's uh, surveillance. You can talk into it, risk going deaf. Sorry. So, what do you think? Would you buy it? No, me neither. So, what do I do? You know, say her idea stinks? Lie? Say nothing? <laughs> So Sam, don't, don't let the noise scare you. It's, uh, it's like a alarm clock, only louder. Uh, Brooke here will uh, hang out with you till we get back, okay? It'll stop soon. What'd I tell you? Peace and quiet. Brooke, go stop this squad. It's a false alarm. Catch them before they leave. Okay. You just stay over here, okay? I won't be long. Um, in fact, I'll be right back, okay? I believe our only call today is a false alarm. I guess people are being smart, staying put. Okay, where's Sam? I don't know. I gave him to you. Then I passed him to Tyler, and passed him to Val. Then I gave him back to Tyler. True, 
when the alarm went off, I gave him to Brooke. I, I said I'd be right back. You left him alone? Okay, he's probably scared. I mean, maybe he hid somewhere. Okay, let's split up and go look for him. Sam. Can we have just one more search? Sam must be so scared. In a strange place so nothing feels safe. Okay. Come on. I didn't have Ricky the stick with me, clobber someone needs a weapon. <laughs> when you say it like that, it kind of sounds stupid. Yeah, almost as dumb as my secret agent spy spool or my Danny dishcloth. <laughs> okay, how about after we're done finding Sam, we go back to the drawing board? You're on. Wow. This fort is beyond cool, Sam. It's super cool. And I should know I've made a zillion of them. That's how I finally knew where to find you. I thought of our talk, remember, about being scared and storms. Remember? But the thing is, is things happen all the time, Sam. Uh, some things that are bad, and some things that are good, and some things that just make us scared like a storm. Accidents. I felt scared that night too, Sam. Scared that you may be hurt for the rest of your life. And for a moment I froze. Caught in the fear just like you are. But it's okay to be afraid sometimes, Sam. Everyone is. But you gotta let it go. And talking about it is a lot better than walling it up inside of you like a fort. You know? So what do you say? You want to try it? Just you and me. Are you cool with that? Super cool. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> Brooke, congratulate us. You were looking at the dynamic duo who got an A on their marketing project. You're kidding. Uh, no offense, but I thought your ideas were like the worst. Oh, they were. But then Tyler came up with this great plan to embrace that by combining them all into one product. Danny, do it all. See, Val came up with the name, but what really sold it was the marketing. You gotta check it out. Hey, ready? So sit right down, we're here to tell you all the story. About a do-it-all named Danny, Annie, do-it-all for glory. He's here to help you serve if you're mixing up a pie. Or a big old ugly swatter if you're bringing down a fly. Be a spy, touch the side. Hold it up and wave bye-bye. Danny does it. A do-it-all, do-it-all, do-it-all. He does it, does it. A do-it-all, do-it-all, do-it-all. He can be there wiping dirt or be a color for your shirt. He's a way to get a boy or a puffer kind of toy. A reaching lower, reaching higher, Danny does what you desire. He is everything to make your heart go zing. He is the one and the only major multi-trick pony. And my friends, that's no baloney, so do not accept a phone. Only Danny. A do it all, do it all, do it all. Danny does it. A do it all, do it all, do it all. He does, the, does it. Call and order yours today. Word to the toll-free number. So? So? So it's the bomb. Yeah? I mean that more ways than one. Says the man who's flunking history. Not anymore. You passed the test? Even better. I finished it. Mr. Tate, he almost dropped his teeth when he found out I made a B plus. I'm cutting it close, Beecham. Yeah, I stopped by the Revere's to see Sam. <laughs> the kid wouldn't shut up so I could leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, who's up for pizza? Not so fast. There's still cleaning to do before the city inspection. Um, unless, of course, you'd rather Alex find out all the details of how you guys tricked him. Good one. Good one. Thanks for the idea. 
worked like a charm. It's my pleasure. Adult male, possible second degree burns. Hey, I thought it was your night off. I'd rather be here. William's back from his business trip. Oh, the old stepdad, huh? Yeah, he keeps trying to bond with me. I swear if he asks me to go to the boat with him one more time, I'm gonna go nuts. Yeah, it's really hard when parents try to get inside your head like that. Except he's not even my parent. I mean, just because my mom marries some guy doesn't mean I have to mind meld with him. Hey, man, lighten up. Hey, I saw your name at the top of the honors list today. Congratulations. Thanks. It's about the only good thing about having a stepfather. Every night I'm not here, I'm at the library studying just so I don't have to be with William of Dorkland. Hey, at least he's trying to help you get good grades, huh? Yeah. I'm Claire, uh, Gerard's wife, right right this way. This is all my fault. I, I put the curling iron on the little vanity chair there, and, and I had no idea it was still on. And... Sir, my name is Hank, and you're going to be all right. Monsieur Le Bon. You! No, 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 no. No, no. Monsieur Le Bon, you're going to be all right. I'll win it. No, 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 no. Sir, Is that sir. your French teacher? I need to evaluate you your injuries. Just you, Monsieur Beaton. The others, stay back. No problem. No, no problem. Shoot! Back! No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. BP 145 over 90, pulse is 88. Mm -hmm. Check with the base hospital to see if we can get him something for the pain. Me. And I'll need the burn pack. So I'm gonna need to have you lie on your stomach so I can... Please, be discreet, Mr. Beecham. I beg of you. There's nothing to worry about. It's, it's not as if I haven't seen a heart tattoo with the name Lola. <laughs> This'll help with the pain. Remember, Mr. Beecham, I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Discretion. Merci beaucoup. Oh. Every day the world goes by, I'm learning how to live my life. I'm waking up to what is to I'm holding on to me and you cuz everything keeps changing. Wait up. Oh, look, now he's officially running after you. Hey, uh, hey, Katie. Hey, um, going up for a track? Uh, no, actually, I was wondering if, um, can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, actually, guys, you know what? I, I suddenly got this just inexplicable urge to go see who signed up for chess club. <laughs> Later. Right. So, what's up? Um... I need to ask you a favor. Sure. What? What? Um, okay, I know this is bad, and if you find this kind of above and beyond the call of duty as a friend, I'll completely understand, but I'm kind of in a bind. And Tyler, what? Could you come to my house for dinner tonight? <laughs> that, that's, that's it? That's the big favor? <laughs> what are you serving, cafeteria food? Or? No, it's, uh, it's William. You know, my oh. mom... Uh, usually does this thing for my birthday, a special meal and stuff, but we haven't done it since my dad left. William found out about it and decided it would be a good idea. I thought I should invite a friend. Anyway, um, my mom's kind of got her heart set on it, so would you mind? I mean, it'll be a total pain with William there, but I promise I will make it up to you. You know, uh, do reports, carry equipment, whatever. Tyler, stop it. Of course I'll come. Thank you. Yo, oh, hey, man. You missing something? 
Oh, my French book. Yeah, you left at the station last night and figured you could probably use it. Yeah, tell me about it. French is the one subject that's going to keep me off the honors list for good. It's the only subject I'm actually doing OK in. You're more than OK, you got to skip French 101. I had a French granny. She used to speak it to me when I was a kid. Now, anyway, listen, man, you better be careful today. I think LeBon's going to be a little crankier than usual. All right. It's got to be one aching behind. <laughs> hey, great. I may never graduate. I'm telling you, this is big. Katie, it's not. Yeah, right. Oh, come on, dinner with the folks. Meet the evil stepdad so you can commiserate about what a pain the guy is. Not to mention celebrating his birthday with him. No, no, this, this is huge. We are talking major milestone in the relationship here. I told you there is no relationship. Oh, get over it. <laughs> I wonder what the deal is with the stepdad. You know, it could totally ruin your chances if these snobby parents don't like you. What, what chances? And who said his parents were snobby? But then again, if he's really not into his parents, then it can make him like you more. But then what if they do like you? Mm. Oh, this could get ugly. Are you sure you want to go? No. Monsieur Lebar, are you better? Listen, I got that tattoo in the service long before I ever met my beloved wife. I, I didn't. I thought of having it removed, but it's so painful. And my wife, you know, she doesn't seem to mind it. That, that, that's... But I know how young people can be when they get a hold of personal information about the teacher. Sir, I have no intention of mentioning this to anyone. And the others didn't see anything. I made sure. Huh. Thank you, monsieur. Uh, I'm grateful for your discretion. Very, very grateful. Counting on you, monsieur Beecham. Bonjour, class. Bonjour, Bonjour monsieur, monsieur Lebon. Please open your textbooks to page 40, and we will read aloud. Ah. Monsieur Wait, you first. Du reste, il était le même pour les gens du monde et pour les gens du peuple. Peuple, not peuple. Peuple. Needs work, Monsieur Wade. Monsieur Beecham, continue. Um, il, il ne condamnate rien hativement. A sand. Très bien, Monsieur Beecham. Très bien. Mademoiselle Ye, continue. Elle avait peur. <laughs> So, it says here the median home price for Tyler's neighborhood is like three times what it is in the rest of Kingsport. Brooke, so what? What does that have to do with anything? I need help here. Hello. You're trying to figure out what to wear, right? Yeah, so? Well, given the demographic of the neighborhood and the fact that Tyler's always saying his stepdad's a bit on the stuffy side, well, all I can say is I hope you're not wearing that. Why? What's the matter with this? Oh, you mean, besides the fact that there's a big hole under the armpit? What? I mean, come on. These are people who probably have, like, finger bowls and stuff. Really? No. Mm. Hey, so I thought you might need another little pep talk before you... Um, you're not wearing that. Could somebody please just make this night go away? I'm not going. Hey. Thanks for coming. Hi. Looks like I'm a little overdressed. No, you look great. Uh, come on in. Wow. Yeah, the over-the-top police should be here any minute. Hi. Hi. You must be Val. 
And William Jenks, welcome. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Jenks. No, no, please, it's William. We're, uh, we're very informal around here. Isn't that right, Ty? Sure are, Will. Uh, Mom, this is... Val, of course. We're so happy you could come and join us for our Tyler's birthday. Oh, thank you very much. Now, you're probably gonna find the menu a little weird, but it's all Tyler's favorites from when he was a kid. Mom! Aww. Which I need to get back to. But it'll be ready soon, I promise. So I'll tell you what, you guys just, uh, relax. I'm really sorry about that. Why? They seem okay. Yeah, just wait. Uh, Tyler, buddy, I was wondering if you could take the trash out for your mom. We're kind of getting a little crowded in here. Back in a sec. I don't need to be told what to do every second. Telling me what to do every second. All I asked was if you could take the trash out. Yeah, but it's like I can't even spend five minutes with my friends without you trying to tell me how to run my life. Tyler, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your life. Look, your mother's gone to a lot of trouble tonight to make sure this hey, is all. Tonight wasn't my stupid idea. So anyway, I keep trying to get Tyler out on the boat with me. I told you I get seasick. Yeah, but they have a patch for that now. Anybody? Like some more chicken pot pie? Yes, please. Mm. Thanks. Mm. Tyler, did I tell you? I saw something the other day, and actually you might be interested in this as well, Val. They uh, put out a new study guide for the SATs. Well, I thought I'd pick up a copy and, uh, you know, maybe we could go over it together. I've already got those books. Yeah, but they've got this new one. I can study on my own. Thanks. Val, would you like some more potatoes? Sure. Thanks. So, um, anything new going on with you kids at school? No, not really. Pretty great news, though, about Tyler, you know, making that honors list, right, Gus? Could you pass the tuna casserole, please? Tyler, buddy, why wouldn't you tell us something like that? He was probably planning on surprising us with the news tonight, weren't you, Tyler? Didn't you think that was something worth sharing with the family? Look, I didn't tell you because I knew you'd do what you always do, which is make a big deal out of something that really isn't any of your business. Tyler! Look, I am not your kid, all right? Back off. I'm so sorry, Val. Tyler. Excuse me a moment, Val. Um, why don't you help yourself to some more baked beans? Book in my locker. Right. Something tells me birthday dinner was a bust. It's more like a train wreck. <laughs> I'm not William. <sighs> Sorry, he's just driving me crazy. No kidding. <sighs> and I still can't believe that my mom married that guy. You know, it's like he's always got to make a production out of something. He's trying to impress my mom. He's trying to impress my friends. You know, it wasn't even his tradition. All he cares about are things. You know, the right people. His stupid boat, his precious car. In the other day, a bird pooped on his jag, right? And I swear, I thought he was gonna have a heart attack. Seems to me what you need is a little get even activity. You gotta blow off a little steam. Yeah, but what? Well, say he's not too crazy about birds? <laughs> Oh man, he's gonna hate this. Well, we have to make it look authentic. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> oh man, this is so gross. And for the finishing touch, voila. 
Looks like Big Bird really digs your car, man. Go, 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 go. <laughs> what the? Oh, this yeah, is the man. most juvenile what? thing I've ever done. Yeah. Doesn't it feel great? <laughs> <laughs> well done, monsieur. What am I going to do with you? What'd you get? Try studying, Cesar. Man, what have you got on Le Bon? Yeah. You no know, offense, but you getting a B plus in French is about as likely as me getting elected home yeah. king queen. Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess all that studying just finally took, you know? Yeah. Here you go. Right. People, remember to review chapter 11 for tomorrow's class. Hi. Hey, uh, I just wanted to apologize. No, it's okay. I understand. Ah, it's just William gets so out of control. Wait a minute. You're, you're apologizing for William? Yeah, you know, he's so in your face all the time. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. Now I'm confused. You're apologizing for someone who was nothing but nice and polite to me last night and who ended up having to drive me home because the person who invited me for dinner ended up leaving in the middle of it. Yeah, well, I'm really sorry about that, but if William hadn't have been there... Okay, but you know what the thing is, Tyler? He is there. He's married to your mom now, and as hard as that is to get used to, I really don't think he's trying to do anything except help make you guys a family. Except he's not my family. Okay, my father is family. That, that guy is just... not. So, you know, you, you never did tell me what your dad said when you told him he made the honors list. Was he, was he excited? Actually, he... I, I left him a message, but he hasn't called me back yet. Tyler, I, I really don't think William's trying to replace your dad. I just think that maybe you're afraid if you let him get too close that one day, one day he might. Is her mom gonna be okay? Well, we have to take her to the hospital for x-rays to make sure nothing's broken, but she's gonna be fine. Is there anybody we can call to meet you guys there? It's just our mom and us. Our dad's dead. Hey, you guys. You guys ready to go to the hospital now? Listen, guys, are you sure there's no one we can call? Another relative or family member? Aunt Stevie and Uncle Dan. They're not really our aunt and uncle. They're just our next-door neighbors. They help Mom out a lot. Mom says it's not who you are that makes you family. It's how you act to each other. Excuse me, Monsieur, Mr. Monsieur LeBlanc. Um, can I talk to you for a minute? Oui, monsieur. Entrez vous. <clears throat> well, I just wanted to say that uh, I know I'm not the best French scholar in the world, but, well, I was wondering if you could, the, okay, the thing is, I want to earn my grades. I don't, don't know what you mean. Sir, are you aware that as a member of the EMS squad, I am bound to confidentiality code that's the same as a doctor-patient one? I wasn't aware of that, no. Sir, if you keep on acting like I've got something on you, people are going to start to wonder. Mr. Beecham, I was never trying to bribe you. OK, perhaps I was, you know, a little bit easier on you than usual, but I was maybe you know, feeling a little bit grateful for your help in my, in my, my time of pain. That's all. Let's just, let's just go back to me getting the grades I deserve, as bad as they may be. As you wish. Thank you, sir. But, Monsieur Beecham, may I suggest something? A tutor, perhaps. Uh, one of my best students will be arriving any moment now, and uh, I could arrange I'd for you. I'd love to, sir, but I wish I had the time. Ah, just... Monique. We were just talking about you. Oui, monsieur? Uh, maybe I could clear some time. Ah, bon.
เทแฮงไม่ได้It's kind of hard sometimes for me to show you that I care without, uh, I don't know, crossing some sort of line. I guess especially since I'm not exactly sure where that line is. And I'm not exactly making it easy for you. No, you're not. Maybe we both just need to relax a little. See where things take us. Yeah, I think that'd be great. I mean, on this boat is actually kind of cool. Don't move. And whatever you do, don't look up. There's a huge bird right over your head. Up, huh?